You are about to experience the Drunken Peasants podcast, the greatest podcast in human history. Please recognize that this podcast is designed to be amusing and entertaining, and thus we engage in satirical comments, exaggerations, and even dirty jokes. If you are offended by such things, please go away and die. If you enjoy this podcast, we ask that you help to support its existence by contributing to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash DP. Contributors get regular access to monthly private shows, special commentaries, Google Hangouts with the peasants, and more. If you don't want to do that, you can also support the show by visiting audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants to get a free audiobook and access to over 150,000 audiobook titles, including great selections on science and skepticism. And if you shop on Amazon.com, we strongly urge you to use one of the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of our videos. You can help support the show simply by using our link to buy things you are going to buy anyway. Now that we've got all that shit out of the way, sit back and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, it's Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for a quick video because I just wanted to make a video and I wanted to make a video. So I wanted to make this video. So I wanted to make this video in 2010. Jesus Christ <laughs> changed my life. Um, they're gonna say all sorts of hurtful things. They don't know me. They don't know my heart. They don't know my tech. I'm not doing this for money. Those of you spreading those lies, I don't care. I don't care. I love real men with everything I have. I I sweat and I come so hard for this. <laughs> I want to go and I don't want to do anything else. Put me down. E me. I mean, I've never been happier in my life. Hey, paisanos, it's the vigilant Christian Mario. Now in Genesis chapter 19, they come and they sit down to eat him. Where are the men which came this night? Queer and gay. Homosexual. Homos. This is the truth. Man who would lust after other men. Uh, uh, until the end comes, in Jesus' name we pray. Hello, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, where we DP the fuck out of the internet. Today is a, uh, oh shit. Shit. Yeah. Bam. Oh shit. There we go. Yeah. There's no earthly... Forget about that! Everything's going smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine here. Uh, just, I want to point out for all the people complaining about that intro, um... That is an interim intro. We're yes. working. We're working on something new. Fuck you, Dave Trader. I, I think it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Fucking present news, bro. But it's not as cool as the thing it replaced. But we got something coming now. That's even better. That's gonna fucking make everything that came before look like total fucking dog shit. You're gonna be like, what intro? Fuck that intro. You're gonna, you're gonna think that you know the first time you see our new intro, you're gonna think that was always our intro because it's the only intro awesome enough to encapsulate this fucking shut show. up, TJ. No, shut up. Sh you shut up. <laughs> You fucking ugly piece of shit. Maybe ugly, but at least I'm smart. No, Scotty, you're just the afterbirth. I'm just. That's what you are. You're just the afterbirth. You're just the afterbirth, Scotty. Paul's ego. How are you? The today? ego of Paul. Oh, he's. Whom I, whom I cannot hear at all for some reason. Paul doesn't exist. Paul is fucking stuck in the nether realm. <laughs> Paul, we cannot hear you. Paul. At all. We cannot this hear is. you. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Okay. Sorry, Can you hear me now? Fellas? No problem. Am I too loud? Uh, I somehow my knob got my knob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your knob. Uh, Any sentence that starts that way is automatic. Paul, we don't want to hear about your be. masturbation habits. No, okay, I, maybe we do. Well, well you're fine. The uh, audience does want to hear about Paul's I have knob. Your, actually. I have your volume. Yeah, under probably so. Here. Everyone out there, uh, raise your hand if you want to hear about Hashtag Paul's knob. Paul I can Faps. See them. All yeah, yeah, you can. Paul hand. Faps. Knob. <laughs> By show uh, of hands. Touch Paul's knob. Well, so how's, I mean, how's your knob been, Paul? 
what do you what do you want to know about my knob? I mean, you gotta you gotta prompt me here. <laughs> we just they want a gen they want general knowledge of the knob. I mean, look, we're all knob novices Hashtag here. Paul's knob. It's not like any of us are are, are uh, knob experts. Well, Paul. TJ, TJ, I won't speak for Scotty and, and and I won't speak for Ben, but you I know, and you and I are both knob experts in different ways. We've okay. seen a lot of knob. Hey, I Paul, you, Paul. I consider you a knob connoisseur, not a knob novice. Mm. Paul, I'm going to end the call with you and call you back really quick here because uh, we need to get your volume fixed here. Okay. And if I call you back, it'll fix it. So just calling you back here. Groovy. Let's do it. Got to hang up on Paul. Yep, call him back. Better call Paul back. Fuck you, Paul. You're gone. Okay, you're back. Are you there? I'm here. All right, so now, you're like, talking shit. now you're like super loud, so now I have to turn <laughs> you down. All right, now talk. One, two, three. Paul's ego in the fucking house. All right, perfect. Good. All right, You're welcome back to the show. Thank um, you. How, how and even you... if Paul is super loud, the audience just needs to be like, it's the voice of God anyway. I mean, how do you yeah. feel about uh, hashtag <laughs> we were there? Uh, I yeah. loved it. I showed it to my wife. You pioneered she, it. She she thought it was uh she thought it was the funniest thing ever. I said hashtag we were there is kind of <laughs> it's kind of trending right now because of me. And she was like, shut up. And, and, and I said, no, like, seriously, go, go look at it. And uh, it was chock full of love. From we need to keep DP. that going, everybody. Hashtag we were there. We were there. Let wow. us know if you were there the day the strength of uh, Brett Keen fell again perpetually <laughs> and always. That <laughs> French vanilla is going right well, through me, guys. TJ, you're more that articulate than usual today. I'm more articulate than yeah. you. Yeah. You, you speak in mo better, TJ. Yeah. I speak in mo good. <laughs> I talk real good. Man, I, I, I learned me on them education down at the schoolhouse, man. I got educated down at about the sixth grade, I went grade, at least man. until third, sixth grade. I went to third oh, grade. I went to second uh, grade. Uh, excuse me, <coughs> TJ, but are you sure you didn't uh, get your education situation from one of your dad's diploma mill scam oh, situation? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. It's on now. TJ like, has a P... TJ like has a PhD in bullshit. situation like son individual. <laughs> hey, Paul, I saw, yeah. I saw several people um, praising the use of individual and situation, but I did see one person who was like, you know what, guys? You're doing that joke too much. Too much of a good time. Stop yeah, I it. I read somebody, I think, on... Uh, in apparently the, that in individual has a problem that, with this situation. That individual yeah. situation there... Has a problem I with that, that. Uh, uh, Paul, did you see Brett turn on uh, Tommy from the Bronx? Yes. It's amazing. Uh, I, I, the drunken peasants tearing Brett apart from the few remaining yeah. friends he has. No, no, didn't you say that he had a list of 20 good atheists? Yeah, now it's down to 19. What a tragedy. Tommy, Tommy from the Bronx was like the second dude that Brett Keane shouted out in that infinite list that he babbled off. His Oscar acceptance speech. He yes. was like, his girlfriend Jay Dobbs, of course, and then he was like, and then Tommy from the situation. <laughs> you know, and like he's number two, you know, and today he's taking a big fat shit in the guy's front yard for no reason because, you know, because he's mad. Cause he got <laughs> you're either a part of the cult of Brett or you're against it. You know, when the when the alpha wolf fucks one of the beta wolves, the beta wolf has to go find a weaker wolf to fuck. But for unfortunately for Brett, he is the omega wolf. Yeah, there's a, he's just a wander the woods. He's actually not even a wolf. He's just a um, a Maltese that the wolf pack took in because they felt sorry for it. By the way, uh, tonight <laughs> is... Dr the Maltese, so tonight is Drunken Peasants History. For the first time ever, we are broadcasting in glorious 1080p. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, 1080p! We finally moved into... More P than ever here yeah. on this podcast. Extra P. <laughs> We've got all the P you need. As much P as you could possibly ever want. We should change our name to the DPPPPP con podcast because, I mean, you know, we got so much P up in this yep. bitch. Damn, you, you took a little too far there, man. No, and we got Paul's just, ego. That starts just, with P. Just, just went a little far there, TJ. Went a little far there, TJ. And Scotty, your middle name, your middle initial is P for pussy, right? Yeah, for all the ah, pussy I get, that's true. For all the pussy you get, no. Yeah, yeah. For all the pussy you are. How did this are, person Scotty? know? See, see that? Who's this? They're on shrooms. They know. No. Oh. It's because you turned off all the lights. I wonder, I wonder if that's true. Are, <laughs> there's also a mushroom. Let's take, let's take a survey. Uh, Look, TJ, there, there's a mushroom behind Scotty, too. So are you on shrooms, TJ? Gives him a clue. Are you on shrooms, TJ? Yes, I am. I will not admit to anything. Oh, shut up. So, ben, so ben, you deny it. 
I ben, deny it. Ben is ben a fu- Ben. It. I'll just say this Ben's about a Ben. Ben is a fun guy, and that's all you need to know. He's a fun guy. Now, I will say, uh, <coughs> I, I am I'm incredibly jealous of you guys, and in an attempt to kind of equalize the situation. Bye-bye. I did, did what heroin. I could. Now I couldn't. I I don't have shrooms where I'm at. They just they don't. I don't get them anymore for whatever reason. But that's what you get for living on the fringes of society. <laughs> I did buy some of that ultra premium California, and oh, let me sweet. tell you, I am sweet. I'm super duper high. So we're do all. Do you feel at like Humboldt oh. County, bitch? Let me ask you this: Do you feel as though you are at one with the universe right now? Kinda, yeah. Wow, I feel, yeah, that's, I, that's I feel awesome. a connection with all living things right now. Except like for I Brett Keen, of course. Let it flow through you, Paul. I can feel a resonance in the galaxy that is tied together by this human bond that we create with one another. And the only black spot in this giant array of light is Brett Keen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're getting we're like an Obi-Wan speech there. Switch like, it is a force that finds <laughs> all living things. Except Brett Keen, of course. Yeah, Brett Keen is out of it. Situation. Fuck that guy. I don't even know who that is, but I just sense that he's evil. Brett Keen's not even evil in a cool Sith way, yeah. you know? Can he's I evil found- in, like, a Stormtrooper henchman that gets shot in, like, the first second. Nah, he's kind of like Watto or something. Oh, he's Watto? Oh, God. Or he's like... Only money! He's like Jabba the Hutt's fuck-up <laughs> stepson who, you know, can't... He's like if fun. Watto... <laughs> he's like if Watto and Jar Jar Binks had, like, a fucking love child. That's ah, what he is. yeah. Maybe, will, maybe that I was in the say. deleted scenes of Phantom Menace. That'll come out after George Lucas dies, you know? Yeah, yeah. Did you know Brett Keen urinated six times? I don't Was he urinating or that shitting? French, or, or, well, French vanilla well, he goes left. right through he was, you. He was talking about French vanilla in his coffee, and coffee tends to make you shit, and he was gone for really long times. Okay. Does it work as like a diuretic or something, you know? It was six times, and on the drunken uh, peasant's wiki, if you go there, each one is time stamped. Well, yeah, look, you can I see mean, it. Look, I mean, coffee we is can a even, major, we can, coffee we can make is a, a video. major diuretic. It, it, yeah. it does make you piss a lot if you drink a lot of it. It makes your piss smell like it, too. Yeah, it For does. some people, piss anyway. smelling coffee. Told you there's more pee on this <laughs> show than ever. Sure. Oh, one thing. Uh, I, have to, I have to mention it, otherwise uh, I'll never hear the end of it. On the Drunken Peasants subreddit, for some reason the Bible Reloaded are going to do uh, uh, Ask Me Anything on there. Check it out. For in some the description. reason. Ben, ben, you can tell how much how Ben because <laughs> Because the Bible Reloaded grovels at our feet. For some fucking reason, they're doing a, an AMA there or something. Go check it out. They want to get more if fans. They want to be bored. They yeah. want they want to get more fans so they know the Drunken Peasants are the greatest podcast in the universe. Quit like, sucking on you know. our fucking teat, Bible Reloaded. Stand on yes, you know they are from Michigan, <laughs> and you you know. <laughs> They are Nuke Michigan. Michigan, hashtag Nuke Michigan. Fuck I was Michigan. in, a, I was in yeah. a, a hangout with Must Destroy All last night, and I got the Nuke Michigan hashtag trending. So wow, I think, yeah. I, think uh, I think one of the uh, the Bible Reloaded is stalking me. Really? I think Hugo is, is his name Hugo Daily. Oh, no one can tell them apart. They're Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Just Jugo, Jugo is stalking. We just you. call him Jugo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Hugo is following me on my social media situation and retweeting me, and which I appreciate. Thank you, Hugo. And and he's coming to my stream situation. Oh, he's stalking well. you. Yeah, but you're not getting Jake. You know, you're only getting no one Jake. half of this. He's getting Hugo. the talented one. Come on, yeah. let's be honest here. Yeah, you well, know, I, I didn't want to say it. I mean, I don't want to play guess, favorites. I guess Jake kind of is just a parasite upon Hugo's greatness. <laughs> <laughs> if you really think about it. I really can't tell them apart, so I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, like, I legitimately have <laughs> trouble. I really do. I mean, I know I, it might be insulting to them, but... And, you know, maybe if I got to know them individually, as individuals... <laughs> as individuals? Yeah, maybe if I met them in real life or something, like, it would be easier, because then I'd be like, okay, I'm actually talking to them now, but... One of them should do something distinct, like lose an eye. Uh, <laughs> what?! You know, that's a, that's a bit extreme. You know, if you're going to be a comedy Dude. duo, you got to differentiate yourselves a little better. We should make them get a shirt. Like, you have to wear a shirt that says, this is Jake, and you have to wear a shirt that says, this is Hugo. They could so sell those. Yeah, you guys should do that. Hugo and Jake really do it. pointing up at you. Do it. Someone said, do it. Someone said, don't nuke Michigan because I don't want the fallout in Wisconsin. You know what? Acceptable losses. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no one gives a fuck about Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Show, show of hands if you give a shit do if it, Wisconsin do it, dies tomorrow. Do it very north no of one, Michigan, no though, one. so it doesn't hit Ohio. <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I wanted to say one quick thing, if, it, if it's okay. 
Oh, um, hell no. No, hell. You only, hell you know, no. You, you know you have to submit everything in writing to us before you That's talk about true. it. That was the agreement. That you is know. true. Um, in the last show, we talked about Beyond Fear a little sure. bit. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know she was a Patreon. Uh, number one, and that's that's pretty cool. Number two, um, that sexy Velma shit that she did was amazing. Oh, did you fap to it, Paul? Of course he did. <laughs> Come on. He doesn't don't want. Make, he's like you had me, to go there. Don't make <laughs> of course me. Don't did. make me answer that to you. You are bullshit. You, you just did. You're on the hot seat, did. Paul. No, no. The answer is evident. No, I want him to admit it. Paul admitted. It's just this ingrained thing. Like we were talk. Can we talk a little bit about Velma Dinkley real quick? Sure. Go ahead, Paul. Talk so, about Velma. Describe Velma to us in your usual Paul esque way. It's this ingrained <laughs> thing with me. Like I have pursued the same woman. <laughs> throughout my entire life and that woman's name is Velma fucking Dinkley. She Why awakened... are you not on camera right now? I am on cam. No, no, no. Don't see ya. Hold on, hold on. What's that noise? Cuz I mean, hold on. I <laughs> What's that sound, Paul? Okay, I got you. Oh, 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 I see what's going on, Ben. Okay. You're trying to perpetrate an edit situation like that Judalicious woman. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what was oh, I by saying? the way, um, no, no, no. Let him, let him, sit, let him talk. Shut about up, it. TJ. Yeah, okay, yeah. Velma. No, no, no. It's okay. But afterwards, have, please jump in. This is it's not about Velma, discussion. though. You know, we need to get, we need, we need to keep this, this on the is Velma. About, this subject. is about your child. But after the Velma thing, I have something to announce. It's very important. Oh, sick. Um, okay, so Velma awakened a that 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 woman awakened a sexual appetite in me that has yet to be quenched in my adult life, and I'm 35 wow. years old. <laughs> That's and I asked beyond beyond fear actually asked me. I didn't even ask her because I know she does that. She draws for a living. That's how she makes her money in part. Yep. You know. Yeah. Uh, and so I wasn't gonna ask her to do anything. But when she asked me, she's like, "Paul, what do you want me to draw?" I was like, "Fucking Velma." That was it. You so you fucking Velma is what you wanted. So to So I do. want you if everybody want would there. do this for me, I would really appreciate it. I want the fan base. I want the drunken peasants fans to barrage beyond fear with Twitter messages demanding a 12 days of Velma this Christmas. Okay? 12 days demanding of Velma. It. 12 days of Velma. Okay? Damn, 12, Paul. 12 wow. doses of Velma in various... So much passion. In Dude, various you... states of undress, in various states of voluptuousness and liveness. Is there, is there a lack of Velma Let me just porn ask you a question. on the internet? No, there's tons, but but there's never enough, you know? Oh, okay, there's never an... I, you know what? I agree All with right. Paul that this Velma is ideal, but... Look, yeah. TJ, would you fuck Velma? Have you ever? Yes, in a second. What are you talking ben, about? Not, if, ben, anything, would you? I would, if anything, I'll tell you what. I would not fuck her because I'm not worthy to fuck her. I'll tell you what. Uh, when, when they made the Scooby-Doo movies, I couldn't help but notice that the girl that they had play Velma was way hotter than the girl that played <laughs> Daphne. As it should be, but even she falls sure, whatever. tragically short of the true Velma. And tragically said, short. Paul, you ever the, cried yourself to sleep knowing that Velma is not real? She's, she's not the real. unattainable goal. So yes, every time I've cried about a girl that's hurt me, I'm really crying about <laughs> Velma. The I, I, I'm away. serious. Yeah, I, I know. I, I see what every, you're saying. About I feel you. I'm telling you, everything about my sexuality traces directly to Velma. <laughs> I am into tomboyish, <laughs> dirty, uh, um, um, really intelligent, kind of distant and aloof. But <laughs> remarkably brilliant women. Legally blind, also. Uh, yeah. Well, my wife is, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> she, she, well, not legally blind, but she wears what? some thick, some thick glasses. Let's put practically, it that way. practically blind. I without, like the oh, bob yeah. haircut, the short anyway, hair on a, on you know, a girl. I don't. I, I don't. I hate to take it away from Velma, but I have. I, I finally. I've written my next book. Everybody. Is this it's your long awaited. And uh, it's called Eternal Undying Love. Is this your announcement? By, you yes, about? by T.J. Kirk. Wow. Really? Is it going to be a trilogy it's by a, chance? You know, it is a planned trilogy. Wow. And it's a, it's a supernatural thriller. And that's all I'll say for now, but it's going to be brilliant. Some individuals wow. get in some serious situations. Yes, they do. Wow. I'm sold. Pre-order. A, a uh, T.J., Yes. Will it will it be a hellish roller coaster that I have the pleasure of riding? Oh yeah. That definitely awesome. sound like words that describe uh, what the experience of reading this book is Are like. you going to get fake magazines to review it and write positive reviews? Oh, it's already got glowing reviews. Oh, on I haven't even put it out yet, but I got the Amazon reviews ready to go. <laughs>
I have some people in the Philippines standing by to write fake reviews the minute it's released. Oh, who? They're not fake, you know. They're people. They're people in the Philippines. Well, Are you saying people in the Philippines don't have opinions, Scotty? You know what? You're Their right, opinions TJ. don't count. It, it, you just so happen to have paid them. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you know, they got some money. I gave them presents. They want to write a good review for me. You know, it's a voluntary transaction. I never paid them to write the good review. I just gave them a gift. And well, then, uh, you know, the they question, chose to repay me by writing a good review wow. for the book. Well, but that's, the, question that's kind is, of them. the question is, TJ, <laughs> how did how did those 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 user reviews end up edited into your editorial reviews section situation? You know, I just some people, you know, I you it's, know, it's a, miracle. a natural it's a natural thing that happens is, you know, when you're sitting there, you write a book and people just love it automatically because, you know, that's how it goes in life. You know, Amazon probably just took it upon Things themselves you do or to, just instantly, to put those in there. You know, if you write a book, it's instantly successful and everyone loves it, and that's just how, how life works. So, yeah. I mean, that's obvious. You know, Amazon.com is just trying to give a bow. A question. Yeah. It's a ridiculous question you're even asking me. It is, um, and okay. Amazon probably did it. And, you know, furthermore, I think you're a bad person for asking that question. Wow. <laughs> and, and your father was a scammer, Paul. We clearly know that. Like father, uh, like son. Like father, I mean, I heard, son. We heard a story on this very show about your, your father beating you to death, practically, you know? <laughs> for, for, for denting his trumpet. Yeah, you know, you all you did was damage an, a musical instrument, and he chose to react yeah, with such so, violence know, and fury. Paul's that, also a child beater. I mean, come on. I must you know? be. Yeah, I, well, you must be. Like father, like son, you know? We're all, you know... Except Red Keen. If history has shown one thing, it's that we are all the exact genetic replicas of our fathers and doomed to make their exact mistakes. That is exactly right. how evolution and um, biology work, TJ. You were correct. And that's why oh. I still own slaves. Thought we might as well move it along here. And by the way, fellas, I can't see your screen. Oh, shit. <sighs> Share the screen with Paul, baby. God, man, what are you doing? What the fuck? Are you on, on some kind of... Are you on some or shrooms something? or something? What is going on? <laughs> no, Paul. You're not. Ben, oh, sure. person. Not at all. I mean, never now, been. can you see it? Oh, yeah. It's I just mean. black. Yeah. Black like your heart, TJ. Black like the heart. Black is my heart. I am the Moses. Wow. Cradle of filth <laughs> reference. Okay. Let me get the video here. Uh, this is I'm a feeling, troll or not a troll. I'm yes. actually, I'm actually going to make a controversial call tonight, but I have a oh, feeling shit. in my bones that this is going to be a tie. This is going to be a controversial <coughs> episode of Troll or Not a Troll. Okay. Here we go. YouTubers, I'm making a YouTube video. Excuse me if I'm getting ready to get emotional, but please, I'm praying that if any white males out there listening, I'm 31 years of age. I'm not drinking, and the videos I made, I was never drinking, and I was serious, and this is not a joke. Please, I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and right now, this is the middle of October. Christmas will be, like, in two months. Please, please, it's not, it's still, like, warm here, like, for fall. If you what look around, some of the trees are changing colors, if you see. Okay. What is the plea to white distance. people here? I can't follow this. I can't follow this. But I think I think it's genuine. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I would this say, is not a just troll. wait wait till it, wait till you hear what All he right. says. What is the okay. message of this? Just a little bit. But where I'm at it's just a little warm. Okay. I'm gonna show you how I look from what from, from how I really look. Okay. Uh all right. This is what I look like. Okay. This all is right. my body. Okay. Uh but I'm making this YouTube video, and this is my hair. I do different stuff with my hair. Yeah, that's horrible. I'm making this YouTube video because I need to put it out there that, yes, 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 please. I wish to be a part of fart male white porn. All I wish to be is the um black funnel noodles. And if you're blonde hair, you be the chicken cream fart on, on my brown funnel noodles. And okay, 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 okay. TJ, I, I don't mean this in a disparaging way, but you're, yeah, kink, you, you're kinkier than I am. Can you explain anything yeah. what was just said? I, I'm totally lost. I'm sorry. Do you know what a brown funnel noodle and a cream of chicken <laughs> soup is? Uh, who has, I might as I well be no watching idea. a fucking episode of Rick and Morty where they're talking about plumbuses and shit right now. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm lost. I'm going to go with not, not a troll. I'm lost in space, but I'm saying not a troll not because a troll. the hair is real and takes commitment. That's um, true. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to differ. I'm, I, I'm feeling troll tonight. After that proclamation... 
when he asked, uh, let, let, let me let me quote him to you I real say quick. Not a okay, troll. hold on. Let me quote him to you. He literally <laughs> said, "You be my white cream of chicken soup on my yeah. face, exploding onto my brown water noodles." <laughs> not a troll. <laughs> we have spoken. Sorry, Paul. You have made a grave <laughs> error. A grave presence. error. <laughs> and we've made a great we'll, enemy. We'll live with our error then. You have been suckered by a troll. Perhaps so. You know, I'm sure hey, Paul, you should start wearing like a, a, a fucking priest outfit or something, you know? Oh, uh, uh, like the, uh, well, it wouldn't show up though, because the beard would cover the little collar. Yeah, you know. So it would just look like I'm wearing black all the time. Well, you just got to get a priest, uh, you got to put one on top of your beard then. It would just look really cool there. <laughs> <laughs> what other religious garments could I wear? I saw a uh, some drunken peasants fan art of Ben wearing a tiki mask that was fucking awesome. Really? I love. I tiki have not masks. seen it. I yeah, have those a, are I have a, cool. I have a tattoo of three tiki masks on my right arm. Show it and, to us. Uh, I don't know if it'll show up well in black and white, but I'll show you the gist of it. Sweet. So, uh, cool. Yeah. It it it's made like the Let's theater masks. I can't We're gonna really... make it big for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah, we gotta put you on full here, screen. Let me here. see if I can get the situation closer to my individual. Huh. Okay. So Tiki mask. All right, yeah. so yeah. Shaky oh, yeah. glory. Yeah, so uh three tiki masks all making different distinct let me see if I can get the other side. All making different just anyway, whatever. Fuck. All, all, all making different expressions, kind of. Cool. Into the, Paul's to the tattoos, case. everyone, <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Only a lighter, I'd clap. Next. All right. Play us a fucking video, Ben. We have a new intro for the crazy people segment. It's pretty good. It's a new intro. Yeah. New intro. This <laughs> guy's uh. <laughs> uh, like. Uh. Uh. Hold on, Scotty. What what part about that didn't you like? Oh, oh shit! That was a scare. Oh, screamer. Twist scare in. You are, you already know the part I don't like, Ben. What? You already know. <laughs> Those drunken peasants put a screamer in one of their videos, and it's like showing they, a two-year-old. They showed me as, my as a matinee. I will be filing a lawsuit. You believe when he came on, it was like, yeah, you guys say I'm a matinee, right? And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> a so matinee. Dumb. Yeah, so dumb. you gotta say it, I'm a matinee. Are you fucking shitting me? Matinee. Yeah, you're a late night movie. I didn't realize how dumb Breaking right, truly well, was. Isn't that a daytime movie, a matinee? Yeah, it's yeah. gonna go before the, 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 yeah, the, it's like, the, the main show. Ticket prices are, are less because it's like in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it shit. is. It's a matinee show of, yeah. a, of, a, of, a, of a motion picture Situation. <laughs> situation. All right. Uh, Paul, you've ruined the word situation and individual and you know for all time. Did it. I give credit where credit is due. The person no, because you're the person that started pointing it out so much that he just constantly, it's like 90% of his vocabulary. Holy go, you have destroyed these words. And then, to add I, insult to injury, while we were doing that fucking show, you ruined the Jeopardy theme music for all time. And by the way, that's been stuck in my fucking head ever since. I'll be sitting there. Individual. individual. No, it's situation. Situation, individual, individual, situation. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> over and over, those two words. I feel like I'm going to go insane like the mad fucking hatter or some shit because you got that crazy shit stuck in my fucking head on repeat hey, ever wait, since. Wait, wait, do you start listening to how Brett Keen says the word on? On? On. He doesn't on. say. Do an impression. He, doesn't, he doesn't say on. Okay, this is Brett Keen saying on. I'm gonna say. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna sing a song situation for you. <laughs> uh, I sang a little bit. This is a reprise of it. Uh, we get together and we share the night. It goes on and on and on and on. Strangers situations. That he says on. Or, he doesn't know how to say on. He says orn. I was I was I was orn the internet the other day. On the yeah, he did. Right. What the ah, fuck? It's not a horn. Why are you doing this to us, Paul? Why, good sir? He is a fucking Brett Keen historian, dude. Yeah. Really, you you should write a book about Brett Keen. He's call it an no one, studied the no stallion. No one would want to buy it. I an mean. unauthorized situation. <laughs> 
by the individual uh, Paul's ego. The individual. And I and I, and, and I want to say too that that last that when I sang that um the 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 obviously it was a journey in Brett's voice. Somebody did that on the internet one time, and I almost died. I almost shit myself laughing. And he sounded just like Brett, and he was like, I have a new song situation. <laughs> and he just started singing that, and he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, free yeah. lights. You know, so I did steal. I did. I, know, but I'm, but, but I'm, I'm crediting for my work. You know? Not even. You Jacqueline Glenn, that shit. Not even three hours before we did the show, I get a message from TJ. Being like, I don't want to talk about Brett King anymore. And he doesn't even exist anymore. I'm like, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting Brett Keen on the show. Hey, I agreed <laughs> to it when you did it. I'm like, yeah, let's fucking get him on here and put an end to this shit. Well, we're talking about him again, aren't we? Yeah, but you know, it's the aftermath and shit. Oh, okay. The aftermath of the Brett King. I mean, he, you know, anybody who thought maybe he was going to be even slightly credible at this point realizes no. No. I don't know so, why anyone you know, would have gone in with that misconception. And that's the real victory, and it's the last thing I'll say about it tonight, unless we talk about it again, in which in which case I'll, I'll bloviate for, for longer. But the sure. real victory of last night wasn't that we, like, fuck on Brett Keen. The real victory is, is that that video is going to be super popular, and every time Brett Keen Googles his name for the rest of his life, that's the first result he's going to see, <laughs> is that fucking video. Which is beautiful. And he's going to be reminded of the situation that happened. <laughs> We were there. Uh, life is beautiful. Anyway. All right. Here's the Febreze guy. He's going to expose Bill Nye the science guy. Oh, enjoy. He does this weird... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. I wish it was longer. I was going to get into it. It was like a failed yeah. attempt at right, dubstep like or something. It was like a techno song really that never got off the ground. Motherfucker here, Bill Nye. The bullshit guy. This guy is supposed to be a scientist. He's he wears a bow tie. Obviously, he's a liar. Every one of these corporate media outlets, along with Michio Kaku and uh, what's his name? There? Hold on. Neil um, you know, you could disagree with these guys if you want, but you really can't argue with their credentials as scientists. Oh, no, no, no. He's arguing with that. No. In you this video, oh, I'm supposed to say Bill and I is an engineer, no, so he no, doesn't no, no, know no. anything. No, he, it, the, the title of this video is Bill Nye the Science Guy Exposed. He's an actor, not a scientist. Oh, shut up. Come on. Yep, the grass Tyson. Fuck you, Fabrice guy, guy. He's not even a scientist. This is absolute okay, bullshit. This what guy evidence is a do you have? Hey guys, um, he's not a close. you know, I, I got Fine. some intel here. I just hold on. I gotta reach into my ass and grab this. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Here it says here for Breeze guy is not a YouTuber. He's actually a pig farmer. <laughs> so wow. yeah. I don't think he's uh, part of the Illuminati as well. No, just a pig farmer. I don't. He, he no, I have evidence he's part of the Illuminati. He, no, every night he secretly goes out and fucks the pigs. That's all. So no, what is Bill Nye? He's he's like a mechanical engineer or something like I that. I think yeah, I think something like that. Okay, or electrical engineer or something like that. To being a scientist is a bachelor of science in mechanical engineering. Yeah. Okay. All right. He came up through Boeing. All right, and was a spokesman for Boeing. We're going to take a look at this and just show you because I. Okay, Boeing. Uh, yeah. Uh, aviation. Yeah, the leader. aeronautics industry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, they don't use any math or science in that. This climate change, and this is the guy that they're using. I mean, he, him, and Al Gore, and whoever else. They're not he's using. Yahoo's he's he, how's he that, using? He's an advocate. He a he, scientific advocate. Yeah, he he fucking through his own fucking efforts in life was able to garner this respect and attention. That's why people are listening. It wasn't just handed to him on a fucking and, silver platter. And yet he was an actor and a comedian too, but that was <laughs> kind of like an extra activity. Well, no, guys, we, we, we all know that the performing arts and, and making people laugh uh, especially isn't a good way to get people to listen to what you have to say. No, yeah. not at no all. No one's ever done that. No one it's has a, ever it's, it's a, transitioned that one thing to the no, other. He just got the Illuminati phone call, like, you're our advocate for uh, climate change, the lies. And he's like, okay, cool, thanks. That's yep. what happened. Mm -hmm. Our spinning the world's Here's your official lie. Illuminati card. And how can you trust a guy? First of all, how do you trust a guy that wears a bow tie to begin oh, with? Oh, I did it. Okay. He did it. Okay. okay. He fucking okay. did it. <laughs> I'm going to say something. How ridiculous. He pulled the gonna, trigger on that. I have to say something. Do it. I have to get this off my chest. I totally 100% agree with the Febreze guy. I, 
I hate the fucking bow tie. You know ah, what I think you're a piece of shit. Bow tie you know is what? great. Do you know it's what awesome. I think of every time I see a bow tie? Tucker Carlson. Tucker fucking yeah. Carlson. Hey, uh, Bill Nye's taking, taking it back. back. Yep, He's taking yep. it back, man. Fuck right, that, well, man. You can't let can't Tucker Carlson. It. We can't let Tucker Carlson ruin bow ties for everyone. Otherwise, it becomes like the Hitler stash. You know. Hash, no one can have that fucking stash anymore because Hitler <laughs> fucking ruined it. You know, and Charlie Chaplin had that shit too. Hashtag Bowtie needs to die. No. <laughs> Hashtag Bowtie forever. This guy is not a scientist, forever. and yet he's the science guy. He's gonna tell you how things. I mean, this guy. The the reason he. It's Bill Nye the science guy, not Bill Nye the scientist. I mean, yeah. Bill Nye the science guy. He became known as the science guy because he was in a children's program, playing uh, a, a yeah, explaining role, science to him. Yeah. I will say this, though. Yeah, I always thought Bill Nye was pretty fucking boring when I was a kid. I didn't watch it. You know, there so was also... If watch that shit in school, I'd be like, oh, this fucking... There was also again. Beekman's World, which was basically the same show. I did like that one better, because it was way more ADHD. <laughs> this right now, this guy is so full of shit. People got to know this, because, you know, people are, are looking at this guy and thinking he knows what he's talking about. He doesn't know jack shit. All right. Uh, oh no. So, anyways, you the see guy who thinks guy that Febreze is, is mind control oh, he's so does. ignorant. This guy is so ignorant. This guy doesn't know okay, shit. It's if, like you don't know shit. If Bill Nye was making a bunch of scientifically just totally false statements, you don't think he'd be called on it immediately? Like, you know, like if he was just making shit up, like, you know, climate change is bad because you know of this fake study that I just put out. You know, come on. Neptune is made of, you know. Uh, what was I going to say? DJ. <laughs> ah. God. I know I have a specific back, thing I want to do. Come back to this ne plane of existence, Neptune DJ. is made of Febreze. Yeah, it could be made of Febreze. <laughs> These gas planets are all just the excess Febreze that gets discarded from the Earth. Yeah. They just throw it out in space. It forms these gas giants like Jupiter and Neptune and shit. I if Bill Nye was saying that shit... It's not like academia just be like, well, he does have a bachelor's in, you know, engineering and shit. Fuck! So People are calling for We gotta Beekman. take it seriously. People are calling for Beekman versus Bill Nye to throw down. Like oh, the ultimate shit. battle. That okay, would but be I believe rough. I, Beekman, I Beekman would bring the fucking hurt, dude. <laughs> Beekman does not fuck around. I knew that motherfucker. He is gangster as fuck. He doesn't fuck around. He was all happy <laughs> on the show. Look at me, I'm Beekman, and this is my puppet. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Out, outside of the show, straight up fucking thug. Oh, gee. Bill Nye's gonna be riddled with fucking bullets. <laughs> wow. If you, that... if you watch, I'm just gonna say this, and then we'll move on. If you watch old episodes of Beekman's World, you can <laughs> notice a patch of skin on Beekman right here that looks a little off color. They, they had to put makeup over his teardrop tattoos for all the pumps he killed. <laughs> True facts. True facts with Paul. Oh, my God. Oh, by the way, um, do you want to watch some more of this or do you want to move on? No, I don't want to watch any yeah, more of this. I this guess part. I shouldn't ask if you want to watch it. From now on, I should ask, do you think we should? Do I think we should? No. Okay. I, I, think, <laughs> I think this lemon got squeezed dry before we yeah, started the, I playing wanted The veracity video. of his claims is questionable I mean, it, it's at just, If there was like some, if he had like even a leg in reality, we could kind of make fun this of guy, it. This guy's an actor. He's but a phony. But you just pull shit like directly out of your ass with, you know, no context and make yeah. up your own fit. Fictional world. I mean, it's, it's there's only so much you can even do with those people. Yeah, there's nothing to refute. He's just he's just lying. You're practically Gale at that point. <laughs> at least Gale's stories have internal consistency, though. This is just jibber jabber. You know, anyone I don't like is just Shut an your actor. Dad, jibber jabber. Are you Mr. T now? Shut your. I didn't. What? You said jibber jabber. So what? That's a Mr. T thing. I pity the fool. It is. Yeah. It is. It is Mr. Oh. T. Quit your jibber jabber. Yep, that's it. Yeah. On the last uh, episode, aside from the one with Brett Keen, with a you know a normal one where we play videos, we talked about some of the older Evan Lefavor videos. You mean God? Yeah, God. Okay. Um, here's an older video of his. It's called "Cooking Up a Beat" with Evan oh. Lefavor. But hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I know I said no more albums, but or music, or I don't know what I said, but why'd you say that? Today I'm in the kitchen. Cooking up a beat. Oh, 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 oh. Dropping oh, it. Cooking, 
up a beat i do want to let you know the the video is like nine minutes long yeah you know wow. he's much he's much <laughs> better at building entire universes full of complex microorganisms and you know celestial phenomena than Let's, he is making beats we'll move it to here oh, oh now he's got pops okay god everybody no script You know, I True feel genius. shitty. I, I gotta be honest with you. I feel shitty for ever letting you guys play a song by my band on this show. Yeah, uh, you know, because it he obviously just falls well short. And Sex Twister should just break up at this point. <laughs> um, Evan Lefevre for fucking president, dude. President. His music is transcended this. music and politics. Can you imagine Evan politics. Lefevre? Can you imagine Evan Lefevre at like the Republican debate cooking up a beat? <laughs> like when he's <laughs> he's like. I was gonna introduce myself, but I'm been standing feel... on the off. Uh, I'm cooking up a beat. Yep. <laughs> Fucking awesome, dude. I feel like crazy people happen. like Evan Lefevre and The Living Man and Gale, like, I feel like those should just be the new presidential candidates, because I want to see a debate between those people. That should be a new, like, television show, like, Crazy People Debate. Well, they have local elections that people like that do run. We need to stage that shit on this show. We need to get these people together and have them debate the issues and see which crazy person rises to the top. That would be great. Yeah. That would be yeah. great. People in the chat room did mention that Evan LaFaver is better than Drake, though. So, what are you talking about? He's better than all of them. If yeah. if the if the standard what? if the Come bar on. is mainstream music at this present time, literally anything is better. Like sounds and traffic is. No. Beating that. Presentation. Just real time. This guy. It's like it's like he has no concept of what kind of kitchen utensils might kind of sound okay in a in a in a in a song like this. Like if he just had like a spoon and hit it against the pan with a with a rhythm, it'd yes. be okay. But he's got these clanking fucking things <laughs> jangling together. Like <coughs> yeah. Hey, he said beat, not melody, man. You know, oh, cooking that is up true. a beat, cooking up a beat. It's not supposed to sound pretty. He's just he, there's a beat there and you can hear it. That's what that's what he fucking promised you and that's what he delivered. This next video is entitled Fear is the Mind Killer and Food for the Interdimensional Beings. Fear is the Mind Killer is from Dune. I can actually give you the entire quote. Go. Um uh well uh, I actually not never mind never mind I can't. I can do oh, I can do oh, I can. Paul is a fraud. So Paul's not fucking perfect after all. <laughs> Paul is a fraud. Everyone's new favorite drunken peasant Paul isn't so great. Can't doesn't even have the Frank Herbert's Dune quote memorized after he promised us he would. Paul flip flopper extraordinaire. Paul's flag planned for the Vatican in 2017. Just some of the things to look forward to right here on the Kev Baker Show. What? What? What are we watching, Ben? I don't know. What the fuck is this? I'll, I'll, I'm going to play something else. Oh, this by is, the, yeah, oh, this, by is, the way. this instantly, this is garbage. Yeah. Please while, don't make us sit through this. Yeah. While Ben is uh, is switching <coughs> that over, I have something to say to TJ real quick. Go ahead. Do it. It is by Will Alone I Set My Mind in Motion. It is by the juice of the sap. Oh, you the got it now. Needs, the lips acquire stains. The stains become a warning. It is by Will Alone I Set My Mind in Motion. That's the Mentat's prayer, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Mentat's prayer. Oh, shit. Simple. Our 
atheists. What is this shit? Just oh god, suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. We've, we've been, we've been I'm sorry. Out. Every time I see a guy like this and I hear him start opening his mouth, all I can I just he just looks like he wants cock so goddamn bad. T TJ. TJ, look, that, that's a they total just want, aside. He wants the cock. That's a total aside, TJ. He is trying this out. TJ? Look at the cock hunger in those beady he, little fucking He may be cock eyes. hungry, TJ, but he's going to reveal the truth about atheism. He wants cock like a rat wants cheese. Of course, TJ tries to distract the audience from the real issue here, which is atheism and The is real lie. issue is his love for cock. TJ, you're projecting. No, I love cock, and that's how I could tell. It takes one who loves cock to see the cock lust Why don't you guys love cock together then, TJ? Maybe we will one day, Scott. All right. We don't know. The future holds. You can only place. dream, this is a right? That comes from Romans one, and to be honest with you, the my Bible. first response was no mm. dumb. You know, you know how people. Yeah. Talk yeah. No, right? no, no <laughs> joy, dude. You know how people talk about um, how uh, white people kind of subconsciously <laughs> will avoid black people when they're walking down the street. Yep. Like they'll cross to the other side of the street. I don't do that with black people. I do that with guys that look like this. Yeah. Paul I like, give oh, them shit. a wide fucking berth because they're probably packing a colt <clears throat> in their sock and ready to yank it at any fucking hint of an argument. So, you know. Car backfires. He starts shooting at the wind. Yep. Terrorist! Ah! 44 Magnum, the world's most powerful handgun. Why would I say that? Read Romans 1, verse 16 and following, and it's straight need to do that. clear. No one needs to do that. What Paul says is that the evidence of oh, God what Paul is says. clear. That's interesting. We have Paul right here. Did you is say he, that, Paul? I, I get misrepresented by these fucking Christian <laughs> assholes so much. Oh, oh, all we have to do is read Paul. All we have to do is quote Paul. Paul said, Paul said, Paul said, <laughs> according to Paul, bullshit. I never said anything. <laughs> there you go. Don't quote me, boy, because I ain't said shit. Right there. Right there. Oh, but the, wiki, wiki, ironically, that has to be quoted now. The DP wiki, you're not doing your job if you don't quote Paul saying that. That's just a gimme. To everyone, having been seen through what has been made. So you look around the world, natural revelation, no. general revelation, and you realize something is going on that's greater than us. <coughs> and the thing that's going on is God's activity evident to that's everyone. True. So just, like, just like two kings, two twenty-four. You know where God maul, uh, tells the uh, bear or sends the bear to maul the children. That's true. God does interfere in our world. That's right. Or when He has a wager with the devil about you know how devoted uh, devoted His uh, followers are and destroys one of His followers' life. You know and he kills His family and just destroys His livestock and all that shit. You know, you're right. God is God is so nice. <clears throat> you know, the, the devil and him getting a pissing contest. Like, oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna prove how devoted my subject is. I'm gonna yeah, get him sores all over his fucking body and kill his wife. <laughs> I also love the thing he says about um, you just look around and you just tell there's something more going on. Like what? Is that really the standard? You just look. I mean, it's the same kind of bullshit that people talk about when they, they say, you know, the 9 11 conspiracy. Look at how the building fell. Just look at it. Controlled demolition. That looks like a controlled demolition to my non expert, doesn't know shit eyes. So therefore, it must be. Well, yeah, it's, it's such a nebulous thing to say that it's hard to even argue with. It's like, just you, you can just look around you, you know, something's, go, something's happening. It's if like, there ain't yeah, no sure. God, who's making the stars to shine? Shut up. Fucking retarded Pardon. shit. But, the writer says, in Romans 1, men characteristically suppress the truth you know, guys are oh, also you, you're going to talk about you know, suppressing the truth when you're suppressing your love for cock every single goddamn day. You know what I notice Paul, go about ahead. God, You know what I notice about guys like this, like these fucking religious huckster dudes? Um, yeah. Because uh, I'm a performer. How rehearsed they are. Every syllable of every sentence in this fucking talk <laughs> is utterly and thoroughly rehearsed. Every body movement has been run through a fucking uh, uh, test group. To see how they react to it. You're basically it's, saying that he's Hillary Clinton. Yeah, he basically, yeah. She's like the ultimate form of what he is like aspiring to be. If you watch them, they all have the same. They they're using psychology. They all have the same effusive way of speaking, and they use their hands a lot. Watch this fucking guy. Everything he does, he's it's like a, it's like a dance that he's learned. <coughs> <coughs> 
righteousness. That is, they hold down the Holy what Spirit is trying entering, to you, Paul. erupt up in an obvious way. It's like I just saw him <laughs> blasting semen out of his cock there is all I saw. <laughs> they hold down the semen <laughs> wants the to come up. The semen. The big torrent of semen all over their faces. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Some fatuous fucking everything shit. Is, everything Fuck is sexual idiot. to TJ. You know how it goes. Yeah, you're a fucking pervert. We all Just know. Just a fucking pervert. You are. Trying to hold a beach Obviously. ball underwater. Come on, that looks hold sexual. Hold your balls underwater. It's about holding his balls underwater. You, even you hey, went TJ, there. Hey, TJ, he wants you to wash his balls underwater. I don't know, man. He's an old guy. Them balls, you know, they might be hard to find. You gotta, like, follow he's, the he's long, long and winding trail pretty, of his scrotum you know, in order he's still to locate pretty, them. He's old, but he's, he still looks like he's in pretty good shape, TJ, you know? Come on, man. Follow I the bet. old wrinkly scrote. Don't be an uh, ageist, old wrinkly scrot. Don't be an ageist, TJ. You're an ageist. Uh, like, yeah, I don't know about that. It's like a wild age goose. discrimination, TJ. Come on. I'm an ageist. Yeah, you know, I don't want to. Wow. I don't want to fucking Dude, play with yeah. no 90 year old guy's balls. Well, if you're 90, this, though, would you want to play with your balls? Right here. This guy what? right here has the balls of a fucking billy goat, dude. You can tell just by looking at him. Dude, his, his balls bathe in the blue water every time he drops a blumpkin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Think of it that way. You've got to work at oh, keeping it down. That's perfect. And the evidence of God is so obvious <sighs> in the world that the world exists and the way the world exists. So that's both the cosmological argument and the teleological argument. Uh, um, no. That, Go ahead, Scotty. I mean, this is... He has not made any arguments. All he's done is done the oldest Christian trick in the book. The Bible done said so, and look around. You look at the trees, look at eyes, look at everything. It's It all just makes sense. Like, you have no evidence. And if your evidence is always just it basically self you know, it's, it's circular logic, basically. It references itself. Well, how do we know you're telling the truth? Because it says so in the Bible. And they take some vague Bible passage and make some vague statements, and it's like, oh, so see, the vague statement I made is matched by this vague statement in the Bible. Bible, so therefore it's right. This is, this is same old shit. It basically just boils down to, you know, if you really look in your gut, you know there's a God, and then the Bible says so too, so you know it must be true, no, it's, right? No, death sure is scary. Wouldn't you like a nice reprieve in a, a castle in the sky? Please! There's plenty of religions that give you that shit, though. At least, like, you know, read about other... Well, it's, it's all geography If this based. is just about who has the best afterlife, it's, it's the whole world based. should be Islam, you know? You know, you get 36, 32 virgins. Well, some, well, some, some, people, virgins some people might be... There, a, it might, it might appeal I to thought them, that was only for, back. like, martyrs that got that kind of <coughs> shit. Uh, I don't know. All the more reason to become Islamic and then blow some shit up, I guess. I don't know. Sounds like a terrible reason to become Islamic. Well, if you're believing in this afterlife you even said, bullshit... Okay, but you've even said that if like you're gonna 20, buy into 23 the bullshit, virgins is not enough. Yeah, sure, but it's better than Christian heaven where you're going to sit around and play a harp and glory to God for all time. Like, <coughs> you got to spend eternity just like, God's great. You're awesome, God. Well, maybe you smoke a doobie in heaven. You like, don't even God, know. God is like your fucking depressed friend that always needs cheering up. You got to constantly fucking talk him up or some shit. You don't you even know? know what heaven's like, TJ. That's God, but he needs all of humanity doing heaven it in unison is real, at all times. TJ. Actually, God is kind of like, you know, everyone's talking about safe spaces because the most recent South Park. Yeah, heaven is just space. God's safe space, you know? No one who says anything bad about God can come into God's little safe space. Well, and fuck it, you, God. And if you do, there's, there's a, a trap harsh door. truth for you. You don't fucking exist. <laughs> This, and even if you did, you fucking suck. There's a trap door straight to hell if you criticize God. <coughs> I felt that shit, TJ. Yeah. I, felt I rehearsed that whole thing in the mirror. Yeah, you're a fucking, you're a fraud, TJ. I you're memorized a, you know. every fucking cadence and every hand motion of that. A God is not real. <laughs> I felt it way down on my plums. Oh, yeah. Oh. A person has to be denying the obvious, aggressively <laughs> pushing down the. I mean, we're done with this. This is that's where it boils down yeah. to. Like this yeah. is do this is over. A person must be aggressively denying bullshit. Uh, that's why I'm not precedent. Okay, well we're flying this is over. through it pretty quick. We're not flying through shit. We got Paul here. We could fucking bullshit till the end of time. Absolutely. We don't even need videos. That's just like a catalyst, if anything. Good morning, Mr. Trump. This is day 17 of Mr. the video Trump. messages to you. And, you know, I appreciate the box and I appreciate the letter. 
And uh, oh. hold on, how was I not aware of day one through sixteen of whatever the of fuck this, is going on here? This guy is making video messages. This dude has fucking tigers, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that gets your attention quickly. Like, yeah, I'm just a <laughs> weird crippled guy wearing a pink bandana <laughs> with a white tiger behind me. This is day 17 of my trying to get Donald Trump's attention. Yeah, it's like, what? It's like, maybe you need to have some fireworks going off in the background, You need too, to juggle you know? knives. What do you got to do to get Trump's attention if this ain't got his Cut over yet? like, and now the London Symphony Orchestra will play. Trump, please pay attention to yeah. me. <laughs> Before this is all said and done, we can work out a time and a place to sit down and have that 30-minute talk we've been asking to have. Okay, why would a presidential candidate... Sit down <laughs> with the lions, hopefully, or the and tigers, have a thirty-minute talk with you. And if your you white have, tiger. if you have a simple question for Donald Trump, whatever. But uh, if you're gonna, if you're gonna sit here and demand, like, I mean, I, I would love to see it. I'm sure it'd be entertaining. I want a real Trump hell. for thirty minutes about his foreign policies. But you know, why would any candidate agree to that? No one ever would. I he does not go far enough. I want a wall built around the entire United States to keep us safe. And if Trump won't do it, then I ain't voting for him. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Trump, and let me apologize if my do-rag reeks of cat piss. See, my white tiger is in heat. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, man, think there could be a there could potentially exist a scenario where someone has to say those exact words and it's beautiful. Love you wonderful. You know, I'm starting to get a lot of emails and messages from people all over the United States that would like to put their two cents in to try and fix this country. One of them that came in last night was about How about you kicking can't even you out first? Your own child hey, you don't know he's part of the problem just cuz he has tigers and wears a yeah, Come on, Ben. And, is carrying guns and Ben yeah. does not like crippled people. That's clearly what the problem is. You don't like crippled exotic pet owners with flamboyant. I don't think case. anyone should be able and to own tigers inside of a giant compound like this. And Bad. you know what? I, I guarantee you that when he's not making these videos, he definitely hibbledy hobbles around this compound with his six shooter at his hip like John fucking Wayne all day long. Well, he has a Second Amendment right. He needs to protect himself. But, you know, he can win any argument against you, Paul, because all he has to say is, I got a fucking tiger. Yeah, that is true. There's nothing you can yeah. really say to that, you know? I can't Obviously, do, yeah. he has a train because he has his back turned to it right now, and it's not, you know, It doesn't even care about mauling his... Yeah. <laughs> Well, the tiger's got space. There's another one, too, on the... The on tiger's the pretty He's obviously awesome. done the arithmetic that this idiot will keep bringing it meat. Yeah. So, what reason does it have? Very true, yeah. Unless the tiger's just like, you know what, I'm sick of that stupid do-rag and all these retarded fucking Trump videos. Yep. I'm eating your ass. But no, the tiger's just like, leave the human to its fault. I think we call that slim pickings, dude. He doesn't really look like he's got much to eat. Yeah, keep the steaks coming, tiger. Keep the steaks coming. This country to teach him some respect on others and how to take care of people's oh, property. Awesome. Without the law butting in. You remember back in the day when... Your mom used to take one of them Holy surveying shit. flats. Holy shit, how many does he have? A lot. Beat your ass when you needed it beat. But you grew up with a whole lot more respect than they're growing up with today, aren't they? Well, he's got that it really right. pretty much boils down to. I'm, I'm sure what he's saying is horrible, but I'm really just looking at the pretty tigers in the background. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's kind of weird. How he gets to have, like, his own private zoo or something. It's like... What? I don't even know what the I don't even know what the fucking um I mean I guess it does provide for interesting background noise if nothing else. Yeah, I would like to have uh, We had a guy here in Ohio like 10 years ago that had a bunch of uh, large exotic animals like this and he set them all free and killed himself and then there were fucking bears and lions and tigers running around on the fucking interstate and shit that they had to take down. Here's the problem with this video. If, if you're this guy, it doesn't matter how flamboyant your fucking do-rag is, people are just going to look at the fucking tigers you got around you and not pay attention to a goddamn word you have saying. They're way more interesting than you are. Yep. And I'd rather just go watch a fucking video about tigers. So maybe if you actually want your message to get out there, you shouldn't make the tigers such a prominent part of the background because they're quite loud and scenery-chewing, yeah. actually. No one gives a fuck about what you have to say when there's a big fucking tiger behind you and we're all just waiting for it to eat your stupid You do kind of look pathetic next to the tiger. Yeah. And there, and there is a literal 0% chance of you ever meeting Donald Trump. So just give it up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can make videos for as many days in a row as you want.
never going to happen. He doesn't give a fuck. And maybe he, maybe he'll meet with you, but it'll just be a photo op, and he'll smile and shake your hand. That'd only be if people actually decided to give a shit, which will never happen. So, yeah, 0%. Next. No, keep going. Mm, keep going, huh? Americans All right. just would like to have their freedom back. Makes no sense that a state or a city or that shit. Blue that tiger, tiger needs its freedom back, you piece of shit. And that teddy bear our wants lives. its freedom back. Yeah. Property way and making it to where it's illegal for us to do certain things that we've done for hundreds of years. Since Such we as started still paying attention to the tigers. Our following has grown to the point that we actually set a record by raising twenty thousand dollars in five days. What did you raise twenty thousand dollars for? State of Ohio. Okay. And we'd like to have our animals back from the state of Ohio. But you know one thing. So this really is here? Uh, we need to come visit this farm. <laughs> I want to meet this guy in person. Let's get him on the Why? show. He seems awesome. He wants to meet Donald Trump. We should help him out, guys. <laughs> Dude, TJ, we should be, TJ this could be our make-a-wish, guys. Tigers. Yeah, I want to go see the fucking tigers. What are you talking about? You know, if we can get TJ in good with this guy, TJ I can go pet a tiger a or something. Pink pirate do-rag fuck here. Yeah, Paul sees through it. Whatever. I just wanted to see Once some tigers, we get man. Started, we're gonna file felony animal cruelty charges on the governor. And yeah, the fuck you, Casey. Uh, I, 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 I don't think I don't think you get to just decide. We're fi we're filing the charge I'm, against you, governor. I'm instantly on this guy's side. Fuck you, Scotty. You're an idiot, TJ. Yeah, TJ, you're so transparent. This guy yeah, is Reynolds, fucking. Bro, he's been wronged it. by the state. Because I they can't should do be it. no more exempt from the law. <laughs> from animal cruelty than any of us are. They let that lion lay there and get bed sores for, to the point that his bones were sticking out. Then they euthanized him when nobody wanted to take care of him anymore. All right, that does sound pretty but fucked up what he's saying right now. private home. Yeah, I'm starting to feel loving, bad about caring, calling him pink do-rag fuckwad And that's all guy. we want, is to put things back in perspective and let the American people decide what the hell we want to do with our own lives. Uh, See, I don't agree with that. No. See, you got, you had me for a second with like the government abused this lie, and I'm like, all right, I'm ready to fight. And then you're like, people should just be able to do whatever the hell they want. It's like, eh, no, not not, not really no, a very good no, idea. That's a really bad idea. You know, I tinkered around with that in my youth a little bit, but anarchy. Turned out it wasn't too feasible. Questions for the last I don't know how many days, and I'm gonna ask you those same six right now. Here in America, we have a war. In the animal world and the animal rights people, in order to take our rights away, and 62.8 million people here in America own pets, and we'd like to know your comments and your concerns about a few issues. Okay. Question yeah, they own cats and Hold dogs and, and goldfish and you know, ferrets and shit like that. There's a slight difference between the animals that a lot of people own and the animals that you own, you know. Domesticated animals. And I mean, Animal honestly, does this guy really need to hear Donald Trump go, uh, listen, I'm aware of the animal <laughs> rights it's, uh, stuff that's going on. Listen, you almost have, said situation. I, I have I have the best people on this. I have the best tiger experts and in the world that work for me in my casinos. Uh, I'm going to get on this immediately. No, like, is that going to make you feel better? You dunce? It's going to be huge. And we are going to put a 25% tariff on China. Number one. How do you feel about 501c3 organizations here in America that are scamming non the public for hundreds of millions of dollars to take care of animals and none of it goes to the animals? 90% of it goes to lobbyists to pass laws to further their agenda. Two, all right, it all seems right, like... Can we, can we pause non let's, are let's definitely just, abused. Let's just answer every aspects. one of these guys' concerns. I agree with that one. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I do. Uh, I'd say I, mostly. I there's, I mean, there's. I could, I could see, you know, it'd be more nuanced. I mean, even some like Anita Sarkeesian has, way, has abused sure. that system. So yeah, if, of course. If that is what's going on, then I'm against it. Let's put it that way. I'm not. Sure. I'm not convinced that that's actually what's happening. But if it is, then I'd rather yeah, see those it, dollars it does go happen to the in care. some cases. Well, he's yeah. he's making this allegation specifically towards probably you know these animal rights. Uh, there, there's websites like shit. Charity Navigator. You can go look up the charity, and if, and if they provided financials, you, you can see how much they use for fundraising and where the funds are spent. Oh yeah, and and there are some shit fuck animal charities out there. Oh yeah, of course. There's some shit like, fuck charities of all like 99 per, 99 percent goes to the owner of the uh, f of the basically the 501c3. Hey, terrorist is the number one topic anytime you turn the news on anymore. Are you aware that our own government, the United States Department of Agriculture, declared PETA a number one domestic terrorist in the United States on November the 30th, 2009, and they're still a nonprofit tax organization here in America? 
How can you be a terrorist and get a tax break? From your own country, right here. I don't really. Agree. I would say the problem is that they were classified as terrorists, not their. I mean, yeah, yeah I've not, never I mean, heard not, of like a PETA bombing or anything. No, like I that. do not. I you PETA know. starts, you know, blowing up zoos or something. I'll say maybe we can classify them as terrorists. Some, some animal rights activists have done extreme shit, but I mean, sure, any, but any, any to group. say that PETA itself. No, I mean, PETA itself. PETA is not. an extremist organization. I don't agree with PETA. I think they're a bunch of assholes, but they're not terrorists. No, I don't think they're terrorists. I think you know that's a pretty loose definition of terrorist. You, got, you guys Three. are all full. Of, you guys are all full of shit. I almost got blown up by a PETA car bomb the other day wow so wow definitely We'd terrorists like know your opinion on how you feel on online bullying not only of children but adults in the name of free speech in order to bash somebody and ruin their reputation and their good name only to make money for yourself and get away with it under the declaration <laughs> of free speech um, yeah, they, they have that right. You know, yeah. you're, you're putting yourself out there. You're putting your opinions out there. People <coughs> reacting to that. You know, you can't just expect that you're just going to be one. Everyone loves you. You're right about everything. <coughs> no one has any problems with safety. you as a person or any other fucking aspect of your life. It just doesn't In exist. You know, how you, you know how you don't have that is you don't put your fucking opinions online. If you put your opinions online, people are going to disagree, and some people are going to disagree in fucking profound he needs, ways. He needs a safe space. And it's not just your opinions they'll disagree yeah. with. They'll disagree with, you know, you're fat. Or you're fucking, you look weird. You're, you're saying some real offensive shit, buddy. I mean, like, shut your fucking mouth. Right now, I could easily make fun of your shirt, your necklace, your mustache, your fucking crazy eyebrows, your weird eyebrow piercings, you your stupid what, fucking hat, your dumb hair coming out the Those back. Those would be all ad hominem, Four, TJ. We'd like to I mean, know anyone could do how that. come us Americans that own our own property, own our own houses, and pay taxes on them do not have the right to have our own pets that we choose to have on our property or in our homes. If I want to have a giant jungle cat, keep it locked in a cage 24 hours a day, <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> it's my right as an American. You know, if someone's tabby gets loose, or even if a dog gets loose, you know, there's um, mechanisms ben, that can be used Ben to provided handle that. a perfect example of why this should be regulated. I'm sorry. I, it's not just the same thing as having a dog. That's why having a dog is not really strictly regulated. I mean, dogs can attack people and right. kill people, and then, but... And then for the safety of the public, the animals have to be killed, uh, you know, just because they escaped for whatever reason. Yeah, I mean, if one of his lions or something gets out, I mean, you know, that's that's going to create mass hysteria in the fucking community. No one wants to hear that a lion is loose in their fucking area, even if the probability of it coming after them is minimal or whatever. I mean, it'd be no. one thing if this guy was running like an animal sanctuary. This lion was abused by the circus. No, this is his pet. Yeah, this is just a pet to him. Look, I mean, in, in this guy's case, it looks like he has facilities for these it's animals i don't enough. know i don't know where he, he you know i don't Look know how what, many he has i don't know what the regulations are on that obviously he's getting most away states, with it somehow most states are, are pretty lax on that yeah some some are not though but i mean number five do you, you know there might you, you hear stories about people buying tigers like these like aspiring rappers and shit they buy a tiger people so buy, they can look hardcore because it's not that expensive to do people buy giant snakes like people buy, when it gets huge it's like you know where's it gonna go people buy chimpanzees too which are very vicious oh to yeah keep his pets Oh yeah, there's tons. Of, there's tons of stories about people getting mauled by their yeah. pet chimps. Yeah. Usually not the people that raise them, but usually it'll, it'll maul someone that it perceives oh, it like it. outside yeah. the. That's you know, why. They, that's why they have whatever. no business having that pet because they can't actually guarantee the safety of anyone else. But even even themselves, if the chimpanzee goes after them, what are they going to do? Nothing. There's They'll nothing die. they can do. You, you die. Yeah, a chimpanzee. It's funny how much smaller they are on average, but their their strength per size is unbelievable. Yeah, they rip people's arms out. They yeah. gouge, they kill rip you in really tear brutal faces ways. Off. Yeah, they like rip your eyes out, gouge your eyes. Well, that's like, how they kill each other too. Yeah. Bite chunks out of your face. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you not think that we Americans have the right <coughs> to assume the risk of our profession? No different than a cop, a firefighter, an oil rig worker, or anyone else that has the assumption of the that risk lion, of their profession. That lion looks desperate for him to just put his whole arm through that hole. <laughs> Come on. He's like, don't just scratch my nose with the tip of your finger. Put that whole fucking arm in here real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you redneck piece of shit. <laughs> it is all right. <laughs> and look at, look at, look at how hungry he is. <laughs>
Look at him looking right at his arm. Freedom He's like, time. Oh, fucker, so close. <coughs> we so far. If he become president, give us back. Ha! Ah, did you see it? Lincoln's chops. Yeah, like, he's yeah. been looking at chops, man. Got yeah, right. And oh, number yeah. six, one of the most important. Why is looking at us like can you throw your him speech in? at the Oklahoma State Fair about things being made in other countries and taxing them when they come into America. Do you not believe that it should be a right that any product made from the rainforest or an animal's habitat somewhere in, a, in the world should be taxed in order to be sold in America? and that tax money go back to helping rebuild the habitat and the rainforest so some of these animals don't become extinct. He has, his views are all over the map. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he's, he's, he's fucking on swinging wildly from left to right on the political pendulum and I can't, yeah. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> he's like, no regulations to help the animals, but all this money needs to go to help the animals. You know what I mean? It's like, well, you know, these these things that you're saying is we don't just object because you're going between two perceived left and right things. It's that this is incongruent ideologically. Like you seem to be for intervention and government interference sometimes and then against it in other times. Like when it comes to you, you want total personal liberties to do whatever you want, <coughs> but then you want online bullies to be censored and you want people who are tearing down the rainforest to pay a tax and all this stuff. <laughs> so do you recognize government authority over you or do you not? You have to make a choice there. In the futures to come, I'm Joe Exotic, and along with 62.8 million other people, we'd like to know if you have any answers for any, any of this. And you wouldn't believe the support you would get, but this war on American citizens and their animals has got to come to a stop. The war on animals. Close this video message for today, Mr. Trump. It'd be pretty easy to clean up America with just a few problems. And that is, give the paddle back to a principal. Two kick their asses off unemployment, make them get a job. Uh, okay, Three. where are the jobs coming from? Are they going to be like, well, here's a job for you, get that job? <laughs> I mean, like, you can't just make someone get a job you if there's not a job know available hey, for them. You look in the, uh, you look in the uh, want ads, there's tons of jobs. You know yeah, what your guys' so, problem so. is? You know what your problem is, Ben? You weren't spanked enough of the trial. Give the principal the paddle back, and, oh. then, and then you would have had a job, uh, you know, uh, any job, and you would have been on the straight and narrow. Quit giving bonus checks at the end of the year. Every time somebody has a baby out of wedlock, a single parent. Oh, no. Or give us our rights back to have our animals on our property. And you know the biggest thing that would straighten all this so much up? Wow. Well, yeah, you know, Congress <laughs> vote or all of those positions are stupid, but you do, do you see how one of them applies way less broadly than any of the others do? You know? Yeah. It's like these huge sweeping issues that affect all of society and then this little personal give us back the freedom to raise whatever kind of crazy exotic shit we want on our own land. Or I ain't I, free. Like, everyone want, wants that. We're all clamoring for fucking, yeah, I should listen, be able to hold, own a fucking Siberian tiger in my backyard. Listen, Mr. Trump, I'm a, a quarter mile from civilization, and I want to raise a flock of flying death adders. Uh, and I don't want you to say anything about it. Uh, flying death adders that I've crossed with scorpions, so they actually have a scorpion sting as well. I want to raise that shit. <coughs> I actually read, uh, I, I watched an expose one American time about, people, um, it's their lives people, um, who are raising these, um, they raise these snakes, you know, and they, they try to, like, build, like, the most badass snake, more and more venomous and shit. Yeah. But then they, they end up with these snakes that are, like, so violently aggressive and so venomous, and they, they were just talking about the constant danger that one of these species They must get off on that shit. Why else would they even want to deal shit? with it? Yeah. You know, like, what if one of those little, you know, custom-made snake es escapes into the ecosystem and actually survives? What? Then we got some super violent, aggressive, venomous snake running around. It's so weird. That like, wants nothing more than to attack people and give them massive doses of venom just because someone wanted to be like, I'm a badass and I made this super badass snake. What's the appeal of having a deadly pet? It's like if my chihuahua could like run around and like rip everyone's faces off, I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> I got awesome. the best chihuahua ever. No, it's supposed to be a symbol of like how awesome you are because you can control this deadly beast and like, 
Well, it succumbs to you, and you're its master, and, and you're so powerful and virile and awesome, and all the women should want to mate with you and all this shit. Oh, and that's and that's exactly that goes on with dogs too. This fucking pit bull thing, where where they raise these pit bulls and fight them and 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 uh, use Try other to make dogs. Like, as, this as, pit bull, this is my pit bull tank. Yeah, it's like what the fuck, dude? Like, why do you have to have what what amounts to a very small grizzly bear walking with you everywhere you fucking go? You retard. Hold on, I guess we're gonna take a small break. Okay. And when we come back, we have a video from The Living Man. Oh. I am The Living Man. And I'm sure that uh, we'll have story time with Paul later on, too. And Absolutely. other stuff. Gather around the fire, kids. Yep, we'll be right back, everybody. Don't go anywhere, motherfuckers. All right, everybody. Uh... Right now, I uh, just want to remind everyone that this week we are doing our weekly FanDuel.com forward slash DP FanDuel League. Um, our prize levels right now are a guaranteed prize pool of $750. So basically, the, that prize pool will be distributed among the top 30 winners. Right now, we have uh, 57 of those 150 slots filled. Uh, feel free to uh, take any of those slots. You can take a, a maximum of three per player for your chance to win. Um, and as you can see by the counter on the screen right now, uh, we have one day and 14 hours uh, before your eligibility closes. If you don't make ours, uh, you know, if all of our slots get filled and you haven't had a chance to get one yet, don't worry. There are plenty of other games on FanDuel.com that you can take part in. Yeah, you know, I mean, recently I've just played and I've won over 200 bucks on FanDuel. Not just with our league. I, I have played in other leagues, too. But, I mean, I've had a lot of success. And, you know, if you guys want some tips for some different players, uh, this week I'm looking at for a quarterback, uh, Cam Noon or Matt Ryan, mainly because they're a little bit cheaper than the top-tier uh, quarterbacks like Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers. And the QB position. FanDuel is the leader, Scotty. Like, I'm the leader of the drunken peasants. Oh, sure. In well, one week fantasy football, the money is real. They're expecting $2 billion in payouts this year. You just pick your favorite players. Two billion. Stay under the salary cap and uh, basically watch your team win. Entry fees are uh, as low as $1. The entry fee for our listener league is $5. Uh, go to FanDuel.com, click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and use my code PEASANTS. For drunken peasants and sign up now special offer for new users for every dollar you deposit FanDuel will match it with up to 200 bucks that gets earned as you play that's Free a bonus money people of up to 200 dollars offer is only good for the first 50 people that use my code peasants today so don't forget to use my code peasants FanDuel.com every day is a new season that's FanDuel.com sign up today and we have filled the league twice so, yeah, it's pretty awesome. We're going to keep filling that dirty league. And hopefully, uh, maybe, you know, if we fill it enough, maybe FanDuel will expand it. We'll see. Yeah, let's see if they expand. I, I look forward to league. winning your money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Paul, are you there still? Paul, yes, can you Paul. hear me? Yes, I can, he can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So, Paul, um, you on camera right now? We don't see you. No. Oh, I just hit it. There, there you go. We see your beautiful face once again. Oh, yeah. Paul, if you had a dream role in a movie, because I know you dabble in acting, you know, mm -hmm. I consider you an actor, performer, whatever. Sure. Um, I'm sure you consider yourself that as well. But um, A thespian, TJ. If you were, like, in a mainstream, big-budget Hollywood movie and you could just have total control, what role would you be playing? Uh, that's an interesting question. Somebody asked me that on Tumblr recently, and I answered Did they? it because I, I do didn't have see a, that. I do have a dream role. Okay. I I would love to play Baron Vladimir Harkonnen in a remake, a good <laughs> remake, a faithful remake of Dune. Wow! Wow, that'd be cool. And that's funny because that's a, that's not even the first time Dune came up tonight either. I know, I know, it is it is pretty funny, yeah. But that's it's that's very, always uh, been my dream. Role. It's now in our zeitgeist. Paul, Paul, do you do you like the David Lynch Dune or no? 
I, I do actually. I do I like, like it too. TJ doesn't like it. Like it. I really TJ hate hates it. it. I cannot stand I'm David Lynch films in general. I've I'm tried. I've given. That. I've done. I've tried to give it so many chances. I can't. I just can't like his movies. I just don't. There's something about his style that rubs me the wrong way every single time. No, and, not uh, not a Mulholland Drive fan. I'm guessing. You know, it's it's not even. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not even gonna. I mean, I, in the past, I would have said he was a bad director. I'm not gonna say that. That's cocky. But I'm just gonna say it's not for me. TJ. Have, yeah. have you have you seen Mulholland Drive? I you know I've tried I've tried to watch all of these movies. Eraserhead. Do, do me a favor, Mulholland uh, Drive. No. Take take, take a no. Fact. Listen, listen. I fall into this David Lynch trap every time. Lost where Highway. Like, Come TJ, on, watch just Lost give Highway. This one a chance. TJ, if you have ever loved me, oh you god, will take, oh man, he's pulling take, this card. You will take a. Paul, a, 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 Paul, a God. Paul, shut up. Yeah. Okay. The second those words escaped your lips. If you I ever love me, TJ. If you ever you know, love you me. Get, you get three of those, Paul, and you just used one up. <laughs> all right? You had me at hello. Yeah, you get three of those. Okay, you just right, use right. one, though. To, you're, you're using one of these to make me watch Mulholland Drive. Yes. All right, yeah, but, I'll but, watch but, it. No, 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 there's a stipulation. Does he have to be on drugs of some Shroom. sort? All right, what's the stipulation? Oh. Shrooms. I just took the last of my shrooms. Are you okay, sure okay. I have to get more? Okay. Could I not just get really baked. high? Super get baked. Super okay. Super baked, but don't fall asleep. Make yourself. Watch I, know, the I don't movie. fall asleep during movies. I just don't. Okay. Okay. Good. Unless Make they're really bad, it. but that might be the case because I hate David Lynch be. movies. Blue Velvet. Right, I, I'll tell you what. I'll watch the whole thing. Fuck Blue Velvet. I hate that oh. piece of shit. <sighs> Fuck Heineken. Paps Blue Ribbon. Okay. Anyway, uh, Scotty, there was. Didn't you want to share your anger? Did yeah, you, let's get this out of the way. You want to do your little angry tirade, Scotty? No, oh, no. Yeah, I'm, do I'm, it. I'm good. No. Boo. no. Angry tirade. Angry tirade. Angry tirade. Angry tirade. No, I'm good. Oh, Rap, fuck. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even really angry. It's. It's. It's really. It's really more. Is, what is going on? I don't know. Hold the, on. The I'm video gonna... itself Turn is tripping. Hold on, we'll play that in a second. No, what, what do you mean you're good, Scotty? I, I mean, like, the whole fucking break, you were staring at your phone. All right, let me, let me give you guys a recap of, of the break as, as we're trying to get things in order for when we come back. I'm trying to talk to Scotty about stuff he has to do. Yeah. And the entire time, he is hunched over very angrily and very intensely, yeah. tapping on his phone, <laughs> like, with purpose. Like, Ugh, uh, It's like, Scotty, what are you doing? Arguing with these fucking morons. These fucking... Okay, if you, want, if you want to fucking drag the dirt out, There we fine. go. Let's do it. Uh, ow. That's what you fucking get for fucking... Okay, there's basically this thing called the Drunken Peasants Fan Club, which is mostly trolls. And this one guy, like, I made some satirical post about Canada, and it was just some stupid thing, and the guy's like, you're basically an idiot, it's a, even if you're trolling, you're a dumb, and fuck you. And I'm like, fuck this guy, I'm gonna ban him. Then a bunch of people on there who are claiming I'm so butthurt, are so butthurt that I banned him, and it's like, hey, you're an asshole, and you just ban anyone when they hurt your feelings. I'm like, there's been posts about me getting fucked in the ass I didn't give a shit about. You're fucking totally miscategorizing. The guy personally attacked me for no fucking reason beyond a satirical post, and I took issue with it. So now it's like, you're violating his human rights, and we're reporting you to the hang, <laughs> and you need to be stand for your criminal charges. And some, and, and the people are like, you know, criticizing me for that. It's like, what? This is a wow. troll. This is a troll forum, and I very rarely do anything. I try to interact with these people who are fans, and basically now it's like it, it, someone started a thread like, you're a piece of shit, basically. And y'all, I'm criticizing. And I'm like, okay, why are you acting like I ban everyone? I'm just ban happy. Like, I just ban everyone. Scotty's cool. Ban. Scotty's shit. Banned. And they're just trying to fucking betray me as this fucking monster now. It's like, I, I was pretty much like, I'm done with these motherfuckers. Drunken Peasants Fan Club, fuck you, bitches. <laughs> I was the only fucking Drunken Peasants that, at, the Drunken Peasant that actually fucking posted there or actually tried to interact with you guys. And you fucking shit on me, so fuck you and fuck your group. Oh, you could fuck, I'm just done with it. <sighs> I was trying to be a nice guy to these fucking fans, and this is what I get is, Oh, you're a piece of shit, you little bad head Tell, bitch! Hold on, don't hold back. Tell them how you really feel. Yeah, you little bad head bitch, Scotty! Fuck you, Scotty! The only drunk and pissing act that gave a fuck about us! Thanks! Because <laughs> you know what TJ thinks of you? He doesn't give a shit about you, you fucking piss ass, so fuck you! <laughs> 
You want to know the fucking truth? And Ben don't give a shit either. Ben's just kind of like, whatever, don't post fucking stupid shit of my fucking face or my fucking dick or something. <laughs> you know, that's all Ben really cares about. It's like, I don't want to be dock dropped. That's it. I mean, and that's the fucking truth, and these people are fucking <laughs> cunts. So fuck them, I'm never going to post there again. Because if that's how I'm going to be treated, then it's like, why would I bother? And they're like, oh, you just, you know, I know they're going to say, you just can't handle anyone criticizing you. And it's like, obviously, who wants to go someplace where it's like, you're a piece of shit? <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, that's a total incentive to go there. You're a butthurt little bitch. Hey, come back here and fucking interact with us. Huh, I have better fucking things to do, like sit on my ass and smoke some fucking weed, you fucking losers. I you're the losers talking about us. And maybe I'm not the most popular drunken peasants, but at least I'm fucking still on the goddamn fucking show, and I keep calling myself the drunken peasant, so that's a fucking fuck up. But beyond that, fuck you assholes, and that's all I really have to say about it. Kai Kaiser, 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 Kaiser Scotty von Kirkenwald does not accept criticism from plebs. Damn right. <laughs> They should know their fucking place. Bow before your egg, bitch, Kaiser <coughs> Scotty the Kirk. Bow before me. That sounds good. Uh, uh, all right, so uh, here we go. The the oh living my. man. Oh, and the living man. You, uh, you do his voice so perfect, I have to. The living man. Don't even try. No one's Paul. We can't even. I don't even try to do it anymore. Paul just does uh, it. I I uh, wove this. Uh, I wove this jacket out of uh, nut hairs that I plucked out one by one <laughs> over the course of twenty two years. Uh, I do not abide by your corporate fiction. This is not Gianni Versace. This is the Living Man, and uh, I am the breath between the stars. <laughs> The breath between the stars, huh? That's a lot of breath. There's a lot of there's a lot of space between stars, you know. Yeah. You can fit a lot of breath there. And what breath man? Of the soil. Whoa. Listen to me. Today we are Simon Peter. Hold on. Here Let's pause this and read this shit whenever it comes back into focus, if it ever does. I think it will. <laughs> focus. There we okay. Go. There I we mean, go. if you're gonna have a sign that you hold up, shouldn't it be short and sweet? Shouldn't it make sense at all? I could just tell it doesn't. Paul, read this to us. Your, natu <laughs> your natural name. Evidence. Non-fiction. Living, free person. You own your proper name, and you are eternal. Trustee through universal right to life. <laughs> natural. <laughs> Versus <coughs> any appearance in all capital letters of that... Which is never your name equals truth. <laughs> equals fiction equals property. Invented, uh, copyrighted SS number brand for Vatican Crown Caesar. Uh, equals grand identity theft. What wow. the fuck? It's <laughs> the on? craziest game of fucking Mad Libs I've ever seen. Oh man, G Time Johnny versus this guy. That's the first debate. That has to happen. Living man versus Johnny. I will not. I will not uh, abide by your word slavery. <sighs> Would they understand each other? That's the real question. Today, we are Thomas Beckett of England, year of twelve thirteen, freedom fighter. Today, we are William Wallace of Scotland, year thirteen fourteen, old man die. Few men know how to live. Today, we are my eighth great grandfather, Matisse Kunrat Hustiling of New England. What Amsterdam. the fuck was that? That, <laughs> sounds, that sounded like an orcish name. It sounds uh, like Dutch. Now, or, it sounds like Dutch or something. I have brought forth the orcish chieftain, Karim <laughs> Dat Hustiling. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Gollum? Oh, year 1641. Yeah. His family and his properties that he had lost. Oh my god. Crying already. Have you heard of a fucking tripod? Uh, I mean, through all this, like, the camera's uh, shaking. Just invest in a fucking tripod. Yeah, we have this shaky video of this guy wearing this goofy <laughs> sweater jacket thing. Yeah, what the fuck Holding this is ridiculous that? You know what? gibberish sign. At least, at least he's interesting. And you can tell in his mind he's like speaking to this great throng of people hanging on his every word just waiting to be liberated by the poetry of his sentiments. 
And meanwhile, it's just a couple of perplexed people scratching their heads and grabbing their kids and telling them, come on, honey, walk this way quickly. The crazy uh, crazy people are interesting, though. They, they at least are like, what the fuck is this That's guy That's why I want to see a debate between this guy and, and, and G-Time Johnny so they can both spabble Mo- incoherent gibberish but, at each but other. But I, I want it to be moderated by Gail. So all the questions are about Jesuits. <laughs> Dude, if we could stage something like that, that would be the best episode of the Drunken Peasants ever. Seized by militaristic force Easily. I don't think you would agree to YouTube's Today, corporate fiction, so you probably wouldn't go on here. Amadeus Mozart of Germany, who comprehended these things to such a level, his entire family turned against him, and when he died, he died alone. Only his dog followed the hearse to the cemetery. Year 1762. Today, we are the Mohawk. Today, we're the Chippewa, the Cherokee, the Sioux. Today, we're the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Mandan, the Cree, and all other natural native children of the land. Today, we are the aborted children of the American nation. And today, we are one. We are aborted, one. you wouldn't be here, My though. voice is yours. Whatever the fuck he's talking mine. about, I'm into it now. He's persuaded here. me with his charisma. He has a feather all in his cap, TJ. Free lovers, free seekers, I'm calling to your souls. Use your minds and awaken. Lift up the hands that want. What? Paul. Yeah. D- work your magic, buddy. Uh, okay. Can you social, do it? Okay, I'm thinking that social security number. So social security number. <laughs> uh, uh, by and for Vatican crown seizure, ground identity <laughs> theft, and you never, ever are its trustee. I, I love how I love how Pat. What did he say? Uh, render under unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, but unto God. I want to just God. give this. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I I I, don't, I can't read the last line. Yeah, uh, but unto God that which is life. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Um. I'd like to give this sign to like a a third grade English teacher and just give her a big red pen. It's like, here you go. It would just be a red sign then. Try this one out. You know, it is just a giant. Like, there is no punctuation anywhere. It is literally one like one long sentence. Uh, yeah, and it, it, there's no. It's just word soup. <laughs> it it's really all is. It, is. <laughs> there's a, it there's sounds a, like. It sounds like something that that uh, Sarah Palin would say in an interview. It's also all capitalized. Oh well, no, no, no. Actually, some some of it is and some of it isn't. No, it's all capitalized. Yeah, see, no, no. Oh, see, no, ever, right. ever isn't, ever isn't. Yeah, you're right. And invented I, isn't either. Yeah, like what? The, there's just no rhyme or reason to this shit. Yeah, this is. <coughs> yeah. Li- uh, li- listen, uh, I do not hear your criticism, for how can the wind that blows through the trees hear the criticism of such a small, infinitesimally uh, uh, tiny uh, corporate word slave like yourself, TJ? I am not your corporate fiction. I am the breath that blows through the trees. You heard me today, TJ, when you stepped outside your house. Did you not? Did you not hear my voice, TJ? I am the living man. I did hear. Damn! It. Next time I get into a troll battle on the internet, I'm just gonna get the living man. Like he's just gonna talk for me, and he's gonna handle this up. Some people comprehend this information <laughs> to keep it simple and wise words from those who have better minds than I. This is the nuts and bolts of what is happening right through that door today. You know, I have a bumper sticker that I think might have been written by this guy. I'll have to bring it in sometime. It's a bumper sticker that I have because it literally makes no sense. <laughs> it, it, it's just total gibberish like this this sign. Like, I can't tell what it's for or against. What does it say? Uh, I can't remember the exact words because it's just gibberish like this. Did you buy it? or did No, you... I don't know how I acquired it. It just came into my possession. And you actually have this. And, uh, yeah, I still have it somewhere. <laughs> I might have to do some digging. Oh, wow. Well. We don't. That that that's a fucking. That's uh, basically a wager there. I have a I knows. have a general idea of where it might be. Uh, that does not narrow it down in your room. Yeah, it does. It's not in my room. It's in the garage somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, that does narrow it down. They are going to try to use a case number that they fictitiously created on an arrest conducted of my person about a quarter mile from where I stand. I, I lo- you know you know what my favorite living man moment so far has been. <laughs> 
What? I love it when he calls out the prosecutor that's trying, attempting to prosecute him for being a British Esquire. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like, why is this man speaking against me? Why is there a yeah. British nobility standing in an American courtroom? Yeah. Why has this number been given to me? Who created this number? You cannot produce one piece of evidence that this British Esquire did not fictitiously create this number. It's, he's the best, dude. <laughs> How do you argue with that shit? He's stuck in 1776 for some reason. You don't argue he's with got him. A, I mean, he's, got a, he's kind of got a point. What the fuck is up with this Esquire shit anyway? <laughs> right? That's a semantics I mean, argument, an though. Anymore? Uh, that's why he said he kind of has a point. But, you know, if Paul had the title Esquire, he probably would be for it, though. I've, like, I've seen Paul's it's, ego Esquire. It's, a, it's an interesting question of why that exists. There are plenty but... of attorneys in the U.S. that still use that title. Yeah, because they're self-important douchebags. That's about the deep as that mystery well goes. <laughs> It's just an archaic thing left over from times before. That's just like like many other things. Uh, don't they still wear, their, wear those stupid powdered wigs in British courts and shit? I, I think yeah. so. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, a lot of these legal people, like, the people who are supposed to interpret our law are all stuck and in the have, past. And they have, like, barristers kind of there. We don't use anything about it. Yeah, the, exactly. But whatever. Be back for it would occur so I could get inside the system. This guy's strategy is to be even further stuck in the past. Yes. To unleash the cancer of truth and knowledge inside of them. You can't bring Rome down from outside. You got to go inside and implode it from within. The nuts and bolts, right from the top. Your natural name, the way your name is naturally spelled, is the cloak <coughs> through which your soul is known. And your soul is known in what we call heaven or what we call hell, positive or negative. Because the speaking of your name brings to those who hear it the instant image <laughs> of your value. Madness. They hear somebody's name and we instantly know that person cannot be counted on. They're always whatever. They're a liar. They're always late. They're always behind. There's a tainter. Or we know that's a person who's there ahead of time. So you get around all that by just being the living man. Yeah. I don't want to judge for all my past bullshit that I've done. I'm the living man. I, I would like. Wow, to, Brett, I, I would like Brett Keen does yeah. need to try this. We both had the same yeah. thought. Brett Keen, we found a new a gimmick for Dump you. Dump Christianity and become the living man, <laughs> dude. If you become the living Brett and you make videos about being a living man, I will totally resubscribe and and watch. I them will become all. your patron. I am the living Brett. Yeah, we want to see this happen, Brett. Hashtag the living manatee. The oh, oh, fuck. Oh, that's great. Ah. The living manatee, come on. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> the living manatee. <clears throat> Don't you mean the living matinee, though? Yeah. I, I am free to float in this riverbank and eat this algae out of the sand with my uh, very prehensile lips. I am the living manatee. You cannot tell me uh, <laughs> where I can and cannot swim. Forage for food. Uh, the, the motherfucker, Forage food to put in my belly. Did anyone find it funny that this motherfucker didn't even know what a manatee was? A, a matinee. It's a matinee. Yeah, yeah he yeah. thought it was, it was like, a matinee. It's like a walrus. Some kind of walrus. No. It's like, what? It's like, dude, you know how to use Google, right? Did you not ever get like a third grade education? Just, just, in... just search Google for manatee. It, I think they were called like sea cows. Yeah. Then. It is fitting then. Yeah. <laughs> sea cows. Water All you pigs. have to do is add a T. He's a sea cow. Don't, don't you have that sea cow any French vanilla? Fuck. That's, that's what my mom calls them. Water pig. <laughs> French vanilla goes right through them water pigs. Uh, <laughs> Brett Keen, you're such water a fucking... pigs are always having water-headed idiots yep. for offspring, too. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go again, attacking the living Brett's family. We're like, not talking about uh, Brett Keen, we're talking about the water pigs. Guy. No, TJ, you're attacking his family. Well, you know, you know it's true though, TJ. Like, like water father, pig, like son. Like water pig, like water-headed <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it all comes back to Brett. So in, a row, in other words, your name is the covering of your soul. You are known through your natural name. Your name naturally is evidence of non-fiction. All right, that's enough of this.
Yeah, Paul, you got. Do you got? It, can you uh, can you try to do the living man giving a speech? Because he seems to be trying to do a speech here. Maybe you have like a Shakespearean speech or something that the living man could put his tweak on. Uh, or, would you, or would you want to work uh, on something like that? I don't know. I could look one up and read it. Yeah, give it a shot, man. Uh, okay, let's look up the old St. Crispin's Day speech. Oh, Try shit. A special living man version. <laughs> yeah, the St. Crispin's Day speech is pretty cool. Uh, uh, is this it? Yes. It's kind of long. I'll start about in the middle. Well, you don't have to do the whole thing necessarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. I'll, I'll start about in the middle. That'll be, that'll be fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and say tomorrow is St. Crispian. Then, he, then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet shall be forgot. But he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. <coughs> but he ne'er so vile this day shall gentle his condition. A gentleman in England is now abed. Shall <laughs> think themselves accursed they were not here. And hold their manhoods cheap while any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day. <laughs> Someone needs to go take the video that we just watched of him and take Paul's audio from just now <coughs> and Mash mix it. the two into one <laughs> and make that seem as if it's what he was saying because that would work tremendously well. All right, so coming up next... Actually, I'm, I'm going to play something special. I found this hilarious. Because this made me think of G-Man. This is Bill O'Reilly. The top story tonight, reaction. Joining us from Washington, Kirsten Powers. So free college tuition, Kirsten. Do you favor that? Well, in theory, I think it would be wonderful. The problem is, is that we do have this completely out of control deficit. So right now, I think it, it, it would be difficult to pull off. But yeah, I think it should be a goal, absolutely, because you want to have uh, broad <coughs> access to higher education. I think we're ending up with an almost sort of class system now where cer only certain people can afford to go to college. And it's becoming no. it's so onerous now for people. with the And the debt that they're burdened with when they come out is just overwhelming. Okay, so if you're going to go to Harvard, that's true. But if you're going to stay in the state system, it isn't true. Uh, community colleges are very reasonable. Their costs are very reasonable. Reasonable is a uh, subjective term and bill o'reilly doesn't uh, i mean bill o'reilly has a lot of money <laughs> also look at the statistics does bill o'reilly if you ask bill o'reilly how much a fucking gallon of milk or a gallon of gas he doesn't costs, he probably is not going to no, be able but, to tell but you but furthermore the point is not that is that prestige is everything with college degrees and i mean look if more people get degrees the value of a degree goes down so i just want to let you know that later on in this clip Bill O'Reilly says something exactly the same as what G-Man has said. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. that's beautiful. <laughs> Which in even Great in New minds. York. Great minds. I mean, it's, it's a bit, but it's not punitive. It I think it's no. I, well, I think the state idiot. colleges actually have are a lot more expensive than they used to be. Certainly, when I was going to college, and and for somebody who comes from a family who doesn't have money, it can be <coughs> prohibitive. And it, and and to take out that have that amount of debt when you come out, especially into an economy that doesn't have a lot of, of great paying jobs. I think there's it's, never it, been a semester that I'm aware of that tuition hasn't gone up. Oh, it's risen way above the rate of inflation. But not only that, but behind mortgages... It goes up twice a year. St uh, basically, college debt is the number two uh, most held debt in the U.S. Yeah, and you can, tell that just by, you can tell that just by how many people you meet who have, like, big... You know, they're buried under fucking student yes. loan debt. So Bill O'Reilly is living in a fucking dream, basically. And, and I mean, like, it, that's not as tangible as, like... I mean, if if you owe a bunch of money on a, on a home loan, at least you have a fucking house. Yeah, at the end of it, if you pay for you know? 15 to 30 years, yeah, you have... You have some sort of an asset, even if it's maybe depreciated a little bit, or maybe it's gone up in value a little bit. You some still own it. have this, you know, fifty thousand dollar piece of paper that they can't even use because they can't find a job in their field. It's insane. 
All right. Should have picked a better damn field. That's their own fault. Yeah, let's man. saturate all the all the same fields. It's a real burden to put on okay, just certain people, and then other people don't have that same burden. I think that the argument can be made <laughs> that, and millions of Americans have done it, that you can get a good education, but you must work for it. And there's a lot of scholarship money available here in New York City. Poor minority students who perform well can get free college tuition, and that's the case in a lot of places. But to demand, I like how they try to make it. You know, every time they want to make There's something, scholarships. They want to make something un, you know, prohibitively difficult because then it's like, you know, the opportunities are there if you want to work for them. It's like, yeah, okay, maybe to some people, but. Why? Why should there be this? Why should it be this giant mountain of a task just to get yourself fucking educated as a human also, being? Also, people talk about Harvard, if or you at could, least credentially ed educated. If you get accepted into Harvard, if you make uh, a below a certain amount of money, their endowment is so large they'll basically just pay for you to go to school. I know people in other countries that get paid to go to school. Oh, like Denmark and uh, countries uh, like Estonia. That. Yes, a lot of countries in Europe you can do that. It's not all, but some. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, you're going to school. What, what do you think of all this shit? Um, it's, it's tough, man. It is not easy. I saved up for a very long time to be able to go back to school. Fucking I, one thing that is totally a racket uh, at colleges and universities are the, are the books. They, yes. they charge out the ass for books. They could, you know what, they could just sell you a fucking tablet and then you yeah. could pay for like digital copies of all the books. You know, but then they wouldn't I would, make as I would much prefer money. That. If I could pay them a couple of hundred bucks a semester and get digital like PDF copies of all my texts, why wouldn't I? Yeah, and they update them every year. They they but, add like a paragraph to each. Yeah, book. except these are these all fucking billion dollar money. industries. They want to continue making fucking obscene profits because they know that people are going mountain. You know, in these under these you mountains have, of debt anyway. You so have a like, captive audience. Might as well continue to fucking milk this fucking giant fat tit. But I, not I get fucking, the textbook. I have. Um, I had to buy a psych. I'm taking a psychology class this semester. I had to buy a psychology textbook. It was like 162 dollars for one book, and the book doesn't even. It is, it is it, it, how do I say this? What am I trying to say? It isn't even bound. <laughs> It's a, it's wow. a three-ring binder book. Uh, I had, to buy, oh I had to buy the binder and put it in myself. And how for much was the book? $167. Oh my for $167, god. For $167. They couldn't even bind You can't it for even you. bind a fucking book. You can't even bind Dude, if I'm paying, can bind a book. If Eternal I'm paying, Undying Love is, is at least, you know, it's barely a book, but at least it's fucking dude, bound. The, the markup on these books is, must be like 100,000% or some Every fucking amount. year, every year a new edition comes out where they've made minute changes, but <laughs> if you don't buy the new edition of the book, a lot of times they won't even let you take the class. If yeah, and you can't you can't buy online. used. They totally no. get rid of any used market. Yep, yep. Well, yeah, Cause every because every fucking semester there's a new edition. Yeah, but it's barely different. And they and they're if, like, no, well, yeah. we'll buy no, your look, old look, books if back. If I'm paying 167 dollars for a book out in the real world, it better be fucking leather bound and handwritten by a man carrying on the tradition of the Benedictine monks and printed on the Gutenberg printing machine. If I'm paying $167 for a book, it better be the centerpiece of my art collection. Not a fucking loosely fucking three-ring binder piece of shit. So, uh, copies made at Kinko's or something. Like, there you go. And, and you know what the best thing is? My psychology teacher, <sighs> after I purchased the book, right, about three days into class when everybody has finally put purchased the book, she says... So uh, uh, my finals, I lecture directly to, um, to, the, to the final. So if you take good notes in your lecture, you don't even need to read your chapters. I was like, fuck you. Are you oh serious? That's fucked. So and, no, and of course, there's the, no the refunds because I undid the plastic and put it in a binder. So now it's round, worthless. The roundabout point of all this is that Bill O'Reilly's wrong. Yes. Free college for all Americans just to try to put all that in a box I, yeah but I want to hear this shit on it, the community college and state yeah, college sure. level will bankrupt the nation it is an astronomical no, oh, that's bullshit. expense astronomical I think there's a middle ground that could that could happen but the overarch is wait till the Bernie end of his Sanders statement. in particular and, and Hillary's only doing this because Sanders is kicking her butt in the polls in some states the overarch is look we're gonna give you everything 
You, you saw the rundown of Sanders, 18 trillion. Come on. I mean, this is well, insane. Well, yes. But yet some Americans, and that's what my next question is to you. Why do they think they're owed all this by the government? What is that mentality? I don't get that. I never took a penny from the government. Uh, that, uh, come on, that is almost, Bill. That, that's almost certainly a lie, <laughs> first of all. How, how did you get to work, Bill? Did you, did you drive on a road? Was it all just toll, uh, you know, basically tollways? You've never driven on a road before? You've never had any sort of benefit from the government ever in your life? Not one time. Also, it's pretty easy for someone who's a fucking multi-millionaire to sit there and be like, I don't need a penny from the government. It's like, yeah, because you get paid to run your fucking mouth on Fox News like a goddamn idiot. How many people have of that job, Bill. Very fucking few. I mean, I just read an article the other day that said half the country is making less than thirty thousand dollars a year. They just think they're entitled to everything. Those, those, <coughs> yeah, they have to be entitled to th to everything because they can't afford anything. Oh, it's the same thing we always hear. If we have uh, single payer health care, universal health care, it's going to bankrupt the country. Everything's going to bankrupt the country. And there's just no way to pay for anything. And it's like, well, you probably have to raise some taxes. And Bernie Sanders, for the most part, has outlined the taxes he would like to raise or, you know, he would like, or the new taxes he'd like to introduce. I mean, and as far as, like, you know, let's say health care, which is the biggest spending cost in America, really, just if you take a single item, it's just because our system is totally dysfunctional and totally just cobbled together. I mean, the average doctor, I think I, I was reading this, has, like, has to have uh, spend like $85,000 a year on administration because there's so many different insurers they have to deal with. It. And the billing process is a nightmare. They have to have a huge staff of people to bill all these different things because it's not like you're dealing with one company. You have to deal with 30 different insurance companies, 40 different insurance companies. Yep. And I mean, we spend more. We spend more per capita. Americans don't live the longest in the world, and a lot of Americans don't get access to any health care. I mean, it wasn't like I think it's eighteen thousand Americans died because they couldn't go to a doctor or get an operation or whatever. It's lunacy. And the this one, greatest health care system yeah, in the world. It's Scotty. lunacy. I read some ridiculous article, and that it's said more expensive. That Canada had great health care outcomes because. Canadians can come to the U.S. anytime they want and get our better oh, health care. They can go to Buffalo or Minneapolis. They can go here, and that's the only reason they're basically we're, they're being subsidized by America's great system. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if you're rich, the American system is great. There's no doubt. If you're not, then it's shit. It's not this idea that so Democrats believe that people are entitled to certain things. They're entitled to health care. Uh, no, hold on. Did you Republicans believe that too? Unless you're a fucking hardcore libertarian to anarchist, that's the range of beliefs that doesn't believe people are entitled to shit from the government. If you're a Republican, find me a fucking Republican sitting there saying, we need to get rid of Social Security, we need to get rid of Medicare. They don't want to get rid of it, they just want to privatize it. Right, but none of them want to get rid of it. Right. They, have the, they don't want to get rid of the military, which is obviously so is fucking. That's fucking. They so, do privatize some of that too. Oh, but. But, yeah, but I mean, they're still not getting they're saying like let's just oh, privatize the no. entire military. They're like let's give them more and saying, more money. Saying privatize is such a it's like a misnomer in that instance. Well, I mean, like Blackwater in that. It's, kind it's of not oh, like actually, it's, it's yeah. not like it's really private. It's just the government fucking giving our tax dollars to private corporations so they can create giant boondoggle right. Doctor Seussian machines that'll never fucking actually work or. See combat or do anything <laughs> useful let's build more tanks we have the military we don't need more tanks build them anyways we're building let's build a, a perniferous rambuzzel and it'll yeah. be great it'll totally kill the enemy you know it's totally impractical it costs a trillion dollars a fucking unit but you know tax dollars will foot the bill but you know bill o'reilly's not concerned about that he's concerned about kids going to fucking oh, college we, and we, shit. we can never spend enough on the military but anything else any, any domestic or social or infrastructure i'll bankrupt the country Yep. They're entitled uh, to food. <laughs> They're entitled to some... Yeah. Ben is really eager for me to get to whatever this quote Bill O'Reilly is going to okay, say. Okay, so, so we'll shut up. But we should probably shut free up for a second. Free stuff of life. Free, free. What you call free stuff and what Jeb Bush calls free stuff that actually are necessities in life. So the problem with what he when he said free stuff yeah. is that he's talking about children getting food. He's talking about people who, a lot of the people who receive welfare, even the adults, are working poor. They're people who have jobs, but they don't have yeah, enough money that, to get that food. That myth has been so busted this, time and time and time again. Sure. It's not
Oh my god, you're such a piece that of shit. That myth has been busted? When is, it where? looks like he's taking it up the ass right now. <laughs> he is, from the devil, as he fucking spews these evil fucking <laughs> lies that he knows are fucking <laughs> lies. He's like, I'm just gonna, you know, I've got this big platform and this shiny looking show and I'm just gonna use it to spew evil and lies to people. The devil's fucking that, in That's just a bunch right of baby now. boomers are, wa uh. are watching it. Who basically ha had the jobs, had the good economy, didn't didn't have a, a overwhelming uh, mountain of debt to go to college, and they're just like these people are just lazy bums who just don't want to go to school and work. <sighs> Fucking sucks. You know, That's but the inside, audience we have here. Oh, inside, inside Bill O'Reilly, there's a there's a sad little child that one day just wanted to help people. And every time he goes on his show, he has to tell that little kid to shut the fuck up so he can make some money. And 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 and, and voice some really loud, boisterous, ignorant opinions out of my fat fucking Irish mouth. So I got my hands in it. And I put them around in front. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> If you look at the if you look at the studies of poverty, at least 50% are, are powers, If you look at the studies of poverty, by the way, I have a which I'm sure Bill all, is always doing. He, I have a disagreement so with you about what's inside of Bill O'Reilly. You say it's a small child that he has to you know, that wants to help people that he has to tell to shut up so he can make money before every show. Yeah. But I think he's more like the the oogie boogie man from. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, you know? <laughs> it's nothing, in, nothing No, it's just like all, it's all like spiders and bugs and oh. shit. And inside, he's just this little fucking crazy cockroach. like, <laughs> You took away my bugs! That's Most poor problem. people in this country have computers, have big screen TVs, I... have cars, have air conditioning. This myth that there are kids who don't have anything to eat is a total lie. And... No, it's not. Oh, come on, Bill. It's not a lie. <laughs> You're Show lying. me a time a child. Show me. Oh, yeah, this is it, oh, huh? Yeah, yeah, keep going. And it is absolutely Hold not on. a lie. Oh, it is absolutely a total lie on a mass level. There are actually students in New York level. City. There are, there are kids in New York City who go all weekend without anything to eat except oh, when they eat in the schools. That is such a biggest baloney. That is absolutely baloney. a fact. You, you and produce one. I know it's one. a fact. Can you I, produce I, one? I know, I know, oh, my God. I know that Can because you? of the church's... <laughs> <laughs> show me a star of a child. Oh, is he actually going to say worked. show me a child at some point? Because that'd be... I he did say uh, produce one, basically. Okay. I worked for the local school district in my town for uh, about eight years. And um, there were kids at this... At, I was an elementary school uh, technology guy. And I worked with the kids quite a bit, teaching them how to use computers and stuff. And... Um, there were kids that literally the only square meal they got every day was their free breakfast. Wow. This guy's a millionaire and he gets paid to talk this bullshit on national TV. Oh, I, I've, I, you know, I've read so many articles in the New York Times, Los Angeles Times, whatever publications about how these kids, they get the, the free lunch, but kids basically, that's the only meal they, most times they get. Yep. If you'd like, uh, you should tweet Bill O'Reilly and tell him he's an asshole tonight, for saying this shit. Tonight, Bill O'Reilly will be visited by three ghosts. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Also, fucking tweet uh, the statistics, Adam, about how many fucking children live in poverty. He doesn't or care about insecure. statistics. He just said, show me, the st uh, show me the studies. Show you a starving child. There's plenty of starving kids in America. Maybe it's that. No, not, maybe fuck it's that. Let's go to his fucking show and drag him by his fucking stupid, ugly, old ass ear. Just grab that fucking Ferengi piece of ham he's got on the side there. <laughs> drag his fucking ass to some fucking poor areas and point. <laughs> Look, right there, Bill. Right fucking there. There's a starving child. And you know what? G-Man can show for us there so he can see too. Yeah. I, I mean, like, they all, they're all in the same area You know area what, though, there. TJ? Fuck. Fox News Security will stop you before you even get in the building. Oh, ah. my God. <laughs> Fuck Fox News the Security hand. is on the case. Fuck uh, Bill O'Reilly in the ass until dead. Oh, I'm dying. <sighs> this is literally oh. one of the worst things I've ever heard from Bill O'Reilly, yeah. and that's really saying Are we something. proceeding? Yeah, yeah, but I've worked going. with in the New York City who served those Listen, children. I mean, there are food it's, banks it's in these churches, fact. and it goes back and to the parents who are usually derelicts of some kind I'm sorry, and who Bill, squander the food who... stamps that come in, who no. sell them on the black market. This is insane. Even if they do, you're telling me that you believe even if they in the do, United is that States the child's fault? With all the entitlement programs and food stamps and everything else. There are urchins running around that don't food have stamps, any food. Food stamps, which the Republicans try to get rid of as much as possible. So wait a minute. He's crediting the entitlements from preventing that now? <laughs> 
Isn't that antithetical to his fucking political position? Oh my god. <coughs> <sighs> what a fucking retard. How is this man paid? I'll be the new Bill O'Reilly. Fox News, you know, I could spew better bullshit than this. You want me to become conservative, pay me $25 million a year, or whatever the fuck you're paying him. <laughs> I'll clean up, I'll stop smoking weed, I'll cut my hair, I'll come on your show, and I'll spew whatever kind of evil bullshit you want. Fine, because you know what, at least I can do it with better consistency than this. And there's no self-awareness. This is sad. You know, entitlement programs are preventing that. They're, those, those kid parents are playing poker and trading the food stamps at the black market. God. It's like, even if but that you know what? Happen. But you know what, when you want it, when you want it, they always talk about that. Well, people get these food stamps and then they just trade them for drugs. Why? But but then when it comes up, like, okay, let's change the system. Let's spend a little money and develop a system to where it's no longer food stamps. It's a card with your name on it that you have to produce an ID to use. That way, there's no fucking counting out stamps. There's no trading stamps. You can't give somebody else your card because they're not you. Problem solved. No, 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 we can't spend any more money on entitlements. We can drug test them, though. That sounds good. Even though those very same entitlements are the reason why apparently we don't have urchins walking around on the street. You can't have we it both do. ways. Uh, by, the, by the way, we do have urchins we do. walking around on the street. So. But it's not, because, uh, we don't, it's not because of how many entitlements we have. It's because of all the ones we don't have. Oral sex. Oral it's also sex. because of the fact Anal that the economy sex. fucking sucks. Oral sex. Oral sex. Anal sex. I mean, what... <laughs> Oral I mean, sex. you can look Oral at some sex. measures of the economy and it, you know. Oh no, the economy is great. The economy is great if you're fucking Wall Street. <laughs> they're doing sex. fine. Yeah, but if you look at wage growth for the middle class, it's been stagnant since the year 2000. That's the entire reason why Bernie Sanders is a fucking popular candidate. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we've had wage growth of 1.8 percent. If you look at other things that people pay for, I mean, with uh, with just factoring inflation, it's gone through the roof. The rich get to make more and more money, but you know, the the living wage isn't increased. Minimum wage isn't increased. Nothing else is increased. None of those fucking, you know, it, it trickle down economics, which is supposedly supposed to exist, doesn't work if nothing ever fucking trickles down. They've got this fucking shit. They've got this money locked in pretty fucking tight. Like, not, not much is dropping out of the big rich people's sponge for us common folk with our bowls outstretched to fucking get. Anal sex, oral sex It's the same that we've heard with, like, the $15 an hour thing. It's like, you want to pay these people that work at these fast food places or anyone $15? They're bums. They don't deserve that. They don't fucking... They shouldn't be paid that much. It's like... Do you realistically know that's not even that much money? And if you have a family, that's almost impossible to support them on even that. And you're paying them in some states, like, you know, uh, what's it, 725 an hour? I mean, what? Like, really? The amount of money that people are expected to live on in America at this point is, a joke. is ludicrous given the price of everything. It's but absolutely insane. If you earn minimum wage, you could not even afford, like, to rent an apartment in most major cities in America. You'd have to work two or three jobs and have, uh, have two adults doing And that. every time you try to even make this an issue, you got some asshole like Bill O'Reilly throwing up these preposterous roadblocks from an alternate universe. Oral sex. Anal sex. Where everything is just going smooth and it's going great. But, you know, as soon as, as, soon as it comes time to fucking blame Obama for something, then everything's shit. Yeah. But when it comes like, oh, you know... You know, he, he when he, when they this is the very same guy. If he wanted to score some cheap points against Obama, he'd talk about real unemployment's actually like this. Economy's doing shit under Obama, but now that it comes to feeding sick kids, all of a sudden we're a fucking utopia. Massage your boob. You know, the reality just changes based on whatever the fucking circumstance is. Reminds me of my fucking dad growing up. Who would tell us, you know, depending on what what his whim was, he would tell us, oh, you know, uh, girls back then were like vestal virgins, and you know, you couldn't even, you couldn't, you, you, every girl was a saint. But then when it came time to brag about all the pussy, he got, oh, girls back then, they gave it up way easier. Or if it came to crime in his area, you, you know, when he wanted to talk about how everything's gone to shit, he lived in this great utopian society back then. But when he wanted to talk about how tough he was, he talked about, oh, there was crime everywhere, people. Would stab each other for a nickel. You know, reality just doesn't change based on your fucking whims. Well, it should. There the are system. children. No, it's their um, parents who are abusing them. Their children, and who there are people being poor is not abuse. Actually, being poor is not child abuse, and there are people who. The 
Bill O'Reilly it is. She's, I mean, it's amazing that she has to sit there and explain this to him. I can't believe that she's actually being uh, able to com where, compose herself. Where's fucking... your summer home located? I mean, you know, you're giving him way too much respect, talking to him as if he deserves even a modicum of respect for the shit he's saying right now. He does not. You know, the correct response is not, actually, being poor is not abuse. That goes without saying. The correct response is, fuck you. Paul, do you have anything to add? Uh, th no, I think you covered it. Uh, yeah, Bill O'Reilly is one of those guys that I, I kind of, I kind of have the suspicion about these types of dudes. Um, Bill O'Reilly and Rush Limbaugh being the major uh, offenders, I kind of get this feeling that they kind of know that they're, they're they're just acting. I would yes. put Michael Savage at the top, like out of. I mean, he's not he he's not as famous as Bill O'Reilly and and Rush, but he's he's still syndicated all over the country. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, Donald listen. Trump wants to appoint him like Minister of really? Health or some shit. To Finally, him. I don't know if that. I, I'm probably getting the position wrong. I don't but think Donald it's minister, Trump, but likes Minister him? of Health, something like that, some position like that, akin to that. He wants to make him some health czar in, in, in America. In the U.S., yeah, you have like a czar or well, a secretary. Well, Michael Savage. His real name is Michael Weiner. Actually, you're joking. No, that's his real oh, name. Oh my. And and he has a he has a PhD in natural medicine. He has a PhD in retardology. I am the, I am the living and, man. And his first like handful of books were all about natural medicine. And then he became an ultra right wing, like right right far right wing. Yeah. Um, Take the wing of a bat. Here's, here's another strange thing about him. His son, the owns, wing of a bat. You know, know like that. tiger. Uh, uh, what is it? Like tiger. The bone of a tiger. Throws penis. it all in a giant cauldron. A and stirs a, it with a wooden. A shark fin. Bubba, you will be trouble. the most virile Bobble man burn. in all the land. His, his son owns Rockstar oh, Energy yeah. Drink too. Ah, uh, wow. Well, the douche is strong yeah. with those ones, man. Yep. yep. Uh, anyway, let's move on. From this we, could, we probably got room for one more video before it's story time with Paul. This room that we're sitting in, by the way, is 12 million degrees hot. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. You have a window you can cut open or something? It's so... No. Cut it's open? No, no, Damn, no, Paul, you're hard. Come on, cut that window cut open. Cut that window. Why, Samurai no, Story no, 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 just no, cut no. the window in half. Like, fuck it's you, that... window. That's another Cali thing. We cut things on, cut things <laughs> off. Yeah, you're cut cutting open, it. Cut things closed. Ah, Let's cut that door closed for me, player. In, in in New Mexico, they put it. They put yeah. it on. Put it. Yeah, well, yeah, I get a lot of put too. My yeah. mom says put. put. I, unfortunately, yeah. put the word in Louisiana, they, they don't really have windows or doors, so there's just <laughs> it's, it's you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess the concept of a screen door is like a new thing. Yeah. Keeps the possums out right good. <laughs> the coons and the possums can't get in if you got that screen door closed. Keeps the, swamp, <laughs> keeps the swamp rats from getting into the flower store. Oh, the Nutria, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. What do you want to play? Uh, we got... We Just got, play something, Ben. Who cares let's what Let's play is. the Villagent Christian. The... Oh, man, I gotta take a piss. <laughs> what? what? Let's not do that. Let's do something else. Well, okay. I seriously take a piss. I'm just joking. <laughs> No, but seriously, let's do something else. He's, he's tired. He's tired. He's played. Tired. All right. I'm done with that kid. I'm done with him. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> Just <laughs> pick a damn video. I see a bunch of videos there. I'll pick one if you don't want to have the pressure. You know, how about this one? Do it. All right. So this is... Someone made a reply to uh, Atheum is, is Unstoppable, and uh, I thought it was actually a pretty good video, even though it, the, the audio in it is pretty bad. Devon Tracy from Phosphorescence. Socioeconomics is the correlation between crime, economics, education, etc. Whereas people who are more likely to commit crime will live in poor socioeconomic. Ben, you made this video, didn't you? No. This is you. No. I can tell it's you. Ben did this, everyone. Fuck off. I'm sorry. Can, can we officially get rid of the Guy Fox Max mask yet? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm fine with that. Let's get rid of that. Let's move I'm on. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's just not the, the Guy Fox mask thing is not working anymore. Can we find a new gimmick? A new yeah, let's thing? do Power Rangers masks now. Yeah. Yeah, so guy that Anyone made this video. That? Guy, that made, guy that made this video, don't use the mask anymore in your, in your future videos. Or anyone. No one should be using it anymore. Unless you're going to like a V for V. 
Vendetta reunion or some shit. You know, you're going to see like a special 20th anniversary screening. Then yeah, wear the like Guy a, Fox like a mask. Midnight showing or something. Yeah. Other than that, you know, it's time for it to die. African American people forget forget the fifth of November. Than any other race. And then and also, please I actually, most theaters ban that. Stop, stop with the Floyd mask. Stop with the fucking voice modulation and shit. Nobody's tracking. Yeah, you. that does sound weird. <laughs> it makes it just hard to understand. Just talking yeah. in a normal voice. It just sounds like it sounds like Charlie case. Brown's fucking teacher. There's also a correlation wah, 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 wah. crime and better socioeconomics. From this, I li I, I like his conversation with him though. Do you see it? What does it say? Can you read it to us? Um, uh, I, let's see. I can't read the Kevin whole thing. Kevin Tracy says, saying. first off, I don't care. It's of no concern to me, nor does it have any relevance to my condemnation of their crime. And then he oh, says, okay. because of greed or vengeance or gang activity, tribalism for money, for sexual gratification, for self-interest. So those are, those are his perceived reasons why right. they commit crimes. Sure. Oh, oh yeah. Understanding that if a poor socioeconomic state were to get support to raise its socioeconomic status, that there is a likelihood that such said state would then have less crime. From my understanding, your reluctancy to give an explanation as to the general reasoning for the crimes being committed and your overall demeanor when it comes to the improvement of socioeconomics shows me that you, in fact, don't care about the progression of states to have poor socioeconomics. Not only this, but you have shown an unwillingness to state the results of a skin tone preference test that you- Yeah, so he had him take a, like a skin tone preference test, and his reply was the, uh, my result just said KKK on it. <laughs> Not sure what it meant. Ready? Okay, but you know what? Devin has really pre presented a really great argument. I don't think you guys have ever refuted. Yeah. Do you guys, do you want to know what it is? What's that? Blacked. Yeah. blacked. Instead of saying the results, it was actually just black. It wasn't even blacked. It wasn't <laughs> clever. On numerous occasions, you have said that your opponents are regressive. Oh, no, that's right. Regressive. Too many Meaning letters. You hold the standard of progress to the people you oppose. Yeah, so he holds the standard of what's progressive. He does. You hold the standard of which that your opponent's arguments must be progressive, and yet you seem to be going against the standard yourself. You choose to, instead of talking about how we can change and prevent these socioeconomic issues, you choose to argue against people who are ignorant when it comes to socioeconomics. What I'm saying is, is that you've made a double standard. Your opponents are held to the standard of progress, and you aren't. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any sort of... I agree with everything he says, but you need to get rid of the guy Fox mask. Sure, to, sure. That, I, th yeah. That's not the focus, and that's not why I, I mean... Yeah, TJ, get over it. He's over so, the guy. No, no, but I mean, it makes it hard to even understand what he's fucking saying. It's only a two-minute long video. Just so. sp say it in a normal voice. It would have been yeah. so much better. And so he got guys, blocked. So we got blocked? No, 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 no. He got blocked. Oh. <laughs> well, getting blocked by Devin Tracy is not Yeah, Devon. Devon, I should call him. Devon. So I just got a tweet. Um, <coughs> not that I was nodding off during the Guy Fox video. Oh, but yes, you were, Paul. I, I just got a tweet. Somebody has already taken my speech about St. Crispin's Day and put it over the living man. Wow. That's awesome. That was fast. Can we see this? Uh, I can give you the link, certainly. Let's see. Let's see how they did. Yeah. See how Given it came. I haven't watched notice. any of it yet, so I do not vouch for its quality. This is yeah. I mean, but it's amazing that it was done so quickly. Yeah. We asked I mean, for it, it, and here it is. And it's in and out. It's quick. It's a minute seven. You know. So. <coughs> yeah. Sure. Let's take a, let's take a gander at this shit. This is, uh, who did this? It's, um... Fidel Al-Rawi. Yeah. <coughs> Let's see how they did. Paul's ego I mean, I guess there's really man. not much of a, a process to it. You just take what Paul said and put it over. And, and right? Say, tomorrow is St. Crispian. <laughs> and he, then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars. <laughs> and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet shall be forgot. But he'll remember with advantage <laughs> what feats he did that day. Then shall our name, familiar in his mouth as household words, carry the king, Bedford of Exeter, Warwick, I would say Talbot, it works. Salisbury and Gloucester. 
be in their flowing cup freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. <coughs> For he day that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. But he ne'er so vile this day shall gentle his condition. A gentleman in England is now abed. Shall think themselves accursed they were not here. And hold their manhood cheap while any speaks with us. Upon Saint Crispin's day. Oh yeah! Wow. Beautiful! Wow! I, round of applause. Babe. Better than I thought it would be. Congratulations to that channel. Everyone should go subscribe to whoever that in in you know uh, entrepreneur is there. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. He's enterprising, is what I was looking for. Enterprising young I like your, person. I like your, that little whippersnapper. Like whippersnapper. Yeah. I, I want to like ruffle his hair kid. and give him a candy. You little uh, scamp. Here's here's a Werther's original. Yeah. Good job. Oh Story yeah. Time with old Gather around the blazing fire, kids. I feel like I am. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Pardon. You turn into a Muppet for a second? Shit. I did. Sorry. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I was having a bad day one night. Um, and I was living with a couple of guys. Uh, we were. Um, we, uh -huh. were all, we were. Yeah. Yeah. It was like that too. Yeah, we were all were. we were all sharing the rent in this little condo, and I was having a really bad week actually. And I mm. came home on Friday, and, and Saturday was my day off. And I managed to cop some really good pan, and I wanted nothing more. Now, all, now my roommates were part of the problem. They were driving me fucking nuts, right? <clears throat> having to deal with their bullshit. They were driving was, your nuts. Gotcha. They were they they were driving me nuts like Cody Weber drove you nuts. Gotcha. Oh, they were wow. just loud. That's hardcore. I feel your pain. I didn't even know you were into that kind of stuff. You know what I? Yeah. You know there was speculation about gay love between TJ and. All Cody. true. All true. Definitely true. I'm, it's gonna be all in my tell-all book. You you gotta read it. Um, Eternal undying love. Just to give anyway, you an idea of the of the um, mental acuity of the guys that I'm talking about, one of them one time. Uh, we told him he needed to start trimming his balls. Um, and he went upstairs with a pair of scissors and cut a hole in his nutsack so big. Oh, and what? <laughs> well, hold on. Pause. Pause the story. Pause the story. <laughs> You're lying. No, no, no. I, I'm just story. Be so let, me, let, me, let me digress and tell that story. Yes, he, please. He, he, he comes home one night. And it, uh, uh, he comes home, and he comes lumbering into the room, and we're all, uh, a bunch of us are sitting in the living room when he comes home, and we're all stoned and, and watching a movie or something. <laughs> and he comes walking in, and he's got this shirt on, this like Abercrombie and Fitch shirt on that's like three sizes too small for him. <laughs> and, and everybody's just staring at him as he walks in. <laughs> and he walks in front... <laughs> He walks in front of the TV and starts to go upstairs, and, and, and one of my friends, Sean, who was sitting on the TV goes, Hey there, tiny shirt. And everybody <laughs> lost their shit. He was like, what? It's good. We're like, no, dude, we can see your rolls and shit. It's not a good look. But anyway, that same night, we were talking to him, and he was like, uh, he had a girlfriend. And he was like, oh, so-and-so, I don't remember her name, so-and-so doesn't want to go down on me because she says it smells all the time. Oh, my God. He had, like, swamp crotch or something. Yeah. And I was, oh. like, well, dude, you, I was like, do you clean up your, your situation down there? Your situation? Your individual yeah. situation. Um, and, and he was like, what do you mean clean it up? I was like, do you shave your balls and your dick? <laughs> like, do you shave your pubes a little bit? Clean it up. He was like, no, man, that's for gir girls do that. And I was like, dude, no, no, no. You need to trim your pubes. You'll get blowjobs. And he was like, okay, well, I'll think about it. And I didn't see him do it, but he went into the kitchen and got the fucking kitchen scissors. Oh, oh my went God. Went upstairs to the bathroom. About 10 minutes later, I hear, I shit you not, I hear. <laughs> 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 And I'm going, what the fuck is going? I jump up off the couch. Everybody leaps up off the couch, and this and my and my friend, my roommate, comes running down the stairs with his pants on and his cradling his balls in his hands. And he said, and I quote, "I cut my sack open." Oh my god! Oh man! And I said, "Why? Why?" 
And he was like, I was trying to trim my balls, and I cut my sack open, and I said, what were you trimming with? And he said, the kitchen shear. Oh, you're going to kill me. Stop. Are you having sympathy pain? So he had to go to the doctor and get a stitch put in his scrotum because he cut a diamond-shaped chunk of his nut sack open. Oh, my God. I give um, up on life. TJ's crying. I give up on life. <laughs> How stupid can you be? So uh, that that gives you that gives you an idea of the mental acuity that we're working with here. So, so I that was the story guys, within a story, right? Yes, yes. So that now was a, back that was to a little the... Paul's ego story inception. Storyception, yeah. Um. So I was sitting at home one night, and, and my two roommates had gone out for the night, and they were like, "We're probably gonna crash somewhere else. We'll see you tomorrow." And I was like, "Oh my god!" I, I was just like, uh, "Yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow." But I, inside, I was I was rejoicing because I didn't want to be around these idiots. I didn't want one of them to cut their nut off in the middle of the night, and I have to drive them to the fucking hospital high. I wanted to get baked and sit at my computer and do nothing for like eight hours. And yeah. so they leave. I do I do that. I get super baked. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm watching movies and YouTube or whatever the fuck I was doing. And about one in the morning, they fucking stumble through the door. <laughs> drunk as skunks. Loud. And they have a chick with them. And they all just kind of stumble through the living room. And they're like, hey, Paul, what's up? Oh, making all kinds of noise. And they all go upstairs together. And about literally three minutes later, there's an orgy going on upstairs, right above my head. And the, and the chick that they had brought was a performer. Not, a, not an actual sex performer, but she was like one of those chicks that had to show how good it feels all the time. So she's up there like, oh, oh, oh. and I'm just downstairs hating my fucking life. So all of a the sudden, there's this pound on the door like it's a cop. And I jump up and I'm looking around like, where's my fucking stash? <laughs> I gotta put it away, fucking stash. And I get everything put away and I go to my door. Now I had one of those doors that has a peephole in it and a little glass like window above the peephole that yeah. you can kind of peek it, peek through. So I look through the peephole, I see nothing. I look above the, the door and I'm looking out and I'm, there's nobody there. I'm about to walk away and somebody goes, <laughs> again. And so I'm like, fuck. So I opened the door a crack, and it's, it's this guy I knew from high school. He was a, uh, a Japanese kid, and his nickname was Yoshi. And he was about five feet tall and weighed about 280 pounds. He was a rotund, <laughs> tiny little man. And I go, oh, and I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I was like, oh, Yosh, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a long time. And he's like, where's she at? Now, instantly, my mind is going, oh, shit. Now I've, now I've, now I, I wanted to say, to be honest with you, I wanted to say she's upstairs getting fucked two ways <laughs> and moaning real loud. But I remembered that he's dating this chick the last time I knew. And so I was like, I don't know who you're talking about, man. And he's like, she's here. I know I, I, their, their cars are here and she was, she, she left with them. She's here. And I was like, Yoshi, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. <laughs> But uh, you need to go home because I don't appreciate you standing on my porch and talking shit. Like this. <coughs> I was like, you need to go home and sleep it off. You seem a little drunk. And he goes, fuck you, man. I slam the door in his face and I run upstairs. I open the door and I'm treated to, uh, I'm treated to my two roommates performing what they deemed the wobbly H on uh, this chick. Uh, uh, one of them is, is on his knees and, and, and uh fucking her mouth and she's on her hands and knees and the other one is fucking her ass they call it the wobbly h and so i open the door and i see this and they don't even react they're like hey what, what's up <coughs> and i was like and, and and i was like oh and i started to look away and he goes hey paul check it out eiffel tower and he puts his hands up they put their hands up and give it give each other a high five over her body as they're fucking her <laughs> yeah. so i'm like guys Yoshi's downstairs and her, and the dick comes out of her mouth immediately and she's like oh my god are you fucking serious and I said yes he's downstairs he's cop knocking my door and threatening to kill people and then she's like oh my god oh my god so she gets in the closet I go back out to deal with Yoshi he's still at the door cop knocking screaming now so I'm sure people in my neighborhood are going to be calling the cops soon I let him in I, I open the door he bursts through my door <laughs> runs upstairs and starts haranguing my friends, throws some big box of shit down the stairs, 
and leaves. I'm sorry, it's a very <laughs> anticlimactic story. <laughs> but it, it's just... It's, it's <laughs> pertinent, I think, because it's such a fucking thing living with people. Right. You always have to live waist deep in their shit, you know? And it, it's, never, it's never a good thing. So that's it. That's my story for tonight, guys. I, I appreciate you having me, as always. Uh, Yo Yoshi threw a box and, and was angry. I like to imagine Yoshi from Mario just doing all of that. And coming out of an egg. Coming out of the egg. Well, that, that's Is a... Paul frozen? No, Am he's I just... Fro no, I'm, oh, I'm, no, I'm no, sorry. There. Sorry, I was just stuck he's on spaced this. out. Yeah. So, hello, hello. hello. Paul <laughs> contemplates the nature of existence. <laughs> what, whatever whatever became of Yoshi, though, Paul? When was the last time you saw him? Um, the last time I saw Yoshi... He, this incident touched off a little war between Yoshi and me because I ended up being the one having to kick him out of the house, of course. Not the guys that were fucking his, double teaming his girlfriend upstairs, but I get to deal with Yoshi. So I kicked him out and I told him to go the fuck home. And then I heard through the grapevine, and I was young, so I cared about shit like this back then. I wouldn't care now. But I heard through the grapevine that he was talking shit all over town about what a prick I was and what a son of a bitch I was. So I called him one night and I was like, Yoshi you keep running your fucking mouth, I'm going to punch you. And he's like, fuck you. And I was like, well, come down here then and say that shit to my face. And he did. I didn't end up punching him, but I didn't end up shoving him. And that was the last time I saw him. He turned around and walked away and <coughs> never seen Yoshi again. Wow. <coughs> That's sad. I wonder what Yoshi's up to these days. <laughs> Probably dead of a heart attack. Probably knocking on some, some other poor bastard's door. <laughs> Probably so. All right, everyone, we're going to wrap it up. All right, show's over. If you enjoyed the show, give it a fucking thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you love, love you all. Good night. The Drunken Peasants thumbs will see up. you again on uh, Monday. And Paul will see you guys again on Friday. And uh, that's that. Show's over. Um, I do believe we're doing our hangout tomorrow. I don't know the time, but, you know, if you're everyone a patron, will. you already have information on that. But if you're not a patron, be sure to join our Patreon. You can be part of our Google Hangouts. They're getting better and better, Cards I think, all the humanity time. Also, yeah, we just posted that on here. Uh, maybe we maybe we'll post some of the Hangouts at some point. I don't know. We'll see what yeah. happens. But um, did you did you say that your Patreon Hangout is this week? Yeah, it's, this it's, it's tomorrow. Do tomorrow. I have? Do I still have a standing invitation to the Patreon? Yes. Fuck no! Don't you yeah. show up, Paul? Come on in. Yeah, Paul. Of course. You want to come? All right. Yeah, shoot me a text and let me know when. Sure, we'll no do. It'll no probably. Problem. Be, I don't know what time you think it is. Been around four or something. Something like that. All right, we'll try to get that information we'll to let you as soon as possible. All right, cool, cool beans, man. All, All right, right everybody, shut up. Good night. Good night, everyone else. Fuck you, TJ. Everybody. You're garbage.